Hello, everybody. I am Neon Icy Wings, and we will be beginning a beginning and an end. <laughs> nice editing on the opening. Thank you. I decided to just like, uh, I just got the random urge to make like a little custom opening to celebrate all the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games I've played up until this here one. Because I just got the urge. Especially because this will be the latest brand new Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game that has been made by the whole blah blah blah. So I figured, why not make a thing to quickly celebrate? Because this, because <laughs> while there is Rescue Team DX, out of all of the brand new Mystery Dungeon games, Super Mystery Dungeon from 2015, 2015 is the latest and greatest. On our journey, we have played through Blue Rescue Team, Explorers of Sky, and Gates to Infinity. With Gates to Infinity almost uh, being wrapped up just about a month ago. Roundabout, roughly. God, hearing this opening is giving me nostalgia. Ain't that the mood? It is good music. <laughs> and also, because uh, I also made the little opening introduction celebration of Mystery Dungeon, because that was faster and easier than drawing the outlines of my prospective team. Which I do have an idea for, but we'll have to look and glance, because uh, if I remember correctly, Super Mystery Dungeon is the first one to officially allow you to do the quiz, but then if you don't like your options, you can decide to override it and choose what you want, which I do appreciate. I like that. But otherwise, I don't really know much about Super Mystery Dungeon. Oddly enough, this was like... Uh, I think the only Mystery Dungeon game that I played close to release, but I only played a few hours of the opening, I think, and then I got distracted because child me was very, very uh, scatterbrained and couldn't stick to things. Like, even though I love this game from what I recall, I do not recall all that much and I don't think I got that deep into the story. But I can't wait to see what this has in store because I don't know the characters. I think there's like a... Ampharos with Zoro level, like, uh, directional skills, but that's pretty much it. I do not recall that much. It's all very fuzzy. And, God, can you imagine? This This game is almost ten years old. Uh, but, a uh, quick recap for everybody. Last stream... We finished up our kind of quick, kind of not quick break from Mystery Dungeon through my Spyrothon, where I beat uh, Enter the Dragonfly, A Hero's Tale, and all three Legend of Spyro games because I uh, didn't want to burn out on Mystery Dungeon too quickly by going straight from Gates to Infinity into Super Mystery Dungeon, especially because I went from Explorers of Sky into Platinum, then into GTI, and I figured I also needed a break from Pokemon. So I figured, why not do a quick playthrough of a bunch of Spyro games that I never played before? But in terms of uh, last time on Mystery Dungeon, we really, really enjoyed Gates to Infinity. It Gates to Infinity is knocking on the door of... Explorers for me. Explorers just has a slightly, like, I don't know, a story that talks to me more personally for some reason, even though, even though technically if we uh, looked at the story of GTI, that, the whole thing of depression and nihilism and hope should speak to me more than Explorers, but I don't know. But yeah, Gates to Infinity is a fantastic time. Easily a, a solid second place. Who knows? Maybe in the future, if I play through all the Mystery Dungeon games again, may, maybe I'll make it. Maybe I'll make it into like a, an entire. Uh, what's the word? A tradition, and play through the Mystery Dungeon games every single, like year 
Because, I mean, there's only four of them so far. But for now, Rescue Team is sadly on the bottom because it's just too simple, too basic, but a lot. It's still very good. GTI, very close second to Explorers. And now we are here to see what Super Mystery Dungeon has in store. I really hope that it in like keeps the gameplay improvements that GTI introduced. I really hope that the story is good. I hope the characters are grabbing. I hope that this I, I hope that this story can break my heart again because GTI actually did make me tear up, which is good. So long as the, the game can b slap my heart a little bit, I am happy. But I don't know anything about the story. I don't really know anything about the characters except for directionally impaired Ampharos, I believe. So, let us see what Super Mystery Dungeon has in store. Although I just realized, uh, well, I realized it before, but I, I only just like consciously recognized it right now. The Super Mystery Dungeon doesn't have an opening. Well, maybe it has an opening and I just need to click start. But all the other Mystery Dungeon games... Even Blue Rescue Team, which is just a very basic intro, usually have a start-up before you get to the start screen. Here is, like, a musical swell with, like, a little bit of hinting towards the characters and story, like Sky and GTI did and a little bit of Blue Rescue Team, but this one didn't. But, well, let's see. Will we be greeted with intro cinematic if we press start? The answer is no! Don't look at that. <laughs> that was from a long time ago. For testing, I believe. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, because I hit the wrong button. I'm a fool. I'm hitting the wrong button again, Matt. But, yeah. I'm not used to the controller again. My brain. I played too much normal stuff. But, yeah, this was done for testing, like, a long, long time ago. Oh, wait. Yes, I do want to get rid of it. Like, this was back when I was first testing Citra years ago. I think years ago. It was a long time ago. So here we go. Proper opening. Oh, that's a really cool, like, kind of camera swoosh. Is that our soul going towards the light of Pokey Heaven? Finally. I finally found you. I came here just to find you, you know. Please, come and lend us your strength. All right? Keep touching the lower screen. So I guess they just forego an opening, just like going on and in. We're going to the Pokemon world! Just forego an opening cinematic animation, just go straight in straight in to the whole thing. Almost as if, like, you open it up and you yourself are being sucked into the game. No intro. This path of light is the link between our two worlds. Complete the following prompts with an honest and open heart. Awaken the true Pokemon form that slumbers within you. Like a Pokemon chest burster. A nerve-wracking first day at school. You want to make friends with someone you just met. What do you do? Ugh... It depends, because usually, like, if I want to, because I will, like, do these ones honestly, but I will probably override it at the end because it gives you the option. So this will be very neat. Bleh. So let's try to uh, do it honestly, because when first meeting someone, it, is, it has been a long time since I actually first like, talked to so like, introduced to somebody. So, I, it's been a long time. When it comes to actual conversation, I wait for people to talk to me, because I do not want to be a bother. I do not want to annoy people by sending messages and uh, coming off as uh, uh, an annoyance. So, uh, making conversation is hard. So, but if it's, like, in person... Because it is said first day at school. You want to make friends of someone you just met. I guess I would turn to them and introduce myself. Even though knowing me, I wouldn't want to make friends and I would just mind my own business. But in this scenario, I would turn to them and introduce myself. 
Okay, that's kind of cool how they're doing the quiz. It's like each answer is modifying your soul as you're going through this magical rainbow land. Two of your friends are fighting and you wish they'd stop. What do you do first? Hmm. Probably ponder what the real issue is, or like just ponder in general. Stay back, and unless I feel like I can actually help. The background in the opening soul moving scene is usually whatever is in your 3DS camera. Huh. So that the idea you yourself are being pulled into the personality quiz is pretty accurate. Huh. Well, even if this was an actual 3DS, because, yeah, just disclaimer, I'm playing on uh, an emulator just because ease of recording. Because I am not super f duper money man and did not ever get a 3DS capture card. So even if this was, but on uh, back on my initial thought, even if this was an actual, like, 3DS, I never took pictures of my 3DS, so that wouldn't have even happened. <laughs> Back to the question, if two people I knew were fighting, I would probably stay back. <laughs> so many Blitz players got called out for their messy rooms. You fools will never know my messy room. It's actually not that bad, I don't think. Then again, a lot of slobs probably don't think they're that terrible. <laughs> it's an another YouTube chat. I'm drawing Giratina, and I fucked up the spikes on the side of him. I'm going to, I'm going to kill myself, and I'm using pen. Ouch. As a digital artist, I... Well, no, actually, as a digital artist, I do know that feel, because I constantly draw on the wrong layers. So I, it's a very big pain to erase mistakes, even on digital for me, because I am fool. Hmm, they start selling a new kind of pastry at your favorite bakery. I will stick to my regular favorite, thank you. I stick to my regular stuff. I don't really try new things a lot. Unless it's like, uh, do ba You've been hiking up a mountain for two hours, but still haven't reached the peak. For two hours? I'm not very much of a hiker person. It depends. If the hike was dedicated to getting to the top, I would have, like, uh like, managed my time to be like, okay, I'll get up early and hike to the top of the mountain. But probably give up on it and head home. But then again, like, this this is me just being like, but what is the extra information? How far from the top am I? <laughs> Celeste lore. I need to play Celeste at some point. That's funny. Uh, honestly, if I was hiking at all, I would probably say, fuck it, get up to the top. I'm not a hiker. You want to jump rope during recess, but everyone wants to play tag. Well, I would never want to jump rope because I have not really jumped rope and I suck at that. But everyone wants to play tag? Hmm. I would say, honestly, e like in a situation where I would want to jump rope, I do not think I'm charismatic enough to convince people to play what I want to play over what they want to play. And I would more than likely go as like, oh, yeah, sure, we'll go play tag. I'm very easygoing in that, I think. You've been given a piece of blank drawing paper. You're asked to draw a picture of the ocean. What color do you make it? Hmm. Hmm. It's either bright blue of crystal clear water or bright blue of crystal clear water. No idea what that has to do with the Pokemon I'm going to become. All right, vacation time at last. What kind of music fits your mood? There's so many. Need marching music? Who listens to marching music? Time to sip some tea and listen to classical. I want really loud songs. <laughs> Loudly sing anime theme songs, honestly. Kind of accurate. I'll rock out to some hard rock. It depends, and a lot of the time, anime theme songs do kind of hit the spot more than random rock. Like, on a whole... Not much of a marching music person. Classical can be good, but I don't seek it out. And rock, it de I, I don't really like genre. I like certain bands or certain songs. I'm not really a, oh, I like this genre. I like this, like, song. Like, genre is way too wide usually. So I guess anime theme songs, because that's not a genre. 
how is that going to determine what Pokemon I am? Hmm. What would best describe your partner? Which, I do believe that this is the gender question. They just obfuscated it a little bit. Hmm. Hmm. I guess my partner will be cool. You're friendly and open-minded. Well, I'm glad you think so. Aren't you already happy just as you are? Eh, life could be better, but I guess... <laughs> then again, you're saying this. Aren't you happy just as you are? You are turning me into a Pokemon, so the answer is obviously no. You're so calm for your age. When you're happy, everyone is happy. As mild-mannered as you are, you must be... What do you think I am, game? I'll probably change your answer. Huh. You're just like Squirtle. Is this right Pokemon for you? Nah, not a bad one, but I have another in mind. That <laughs> poor Squirtle, he got upset. What do you look like? I do like that there's a... Uh, I do also like this uh, selection screen. We'll quickly go through all the options because we can... <laughs> this final music question is always in the quiz, but the answers for genre are random. Huh, neat. That is the one thing that kind of annoys me with the uh, the quizzes, is I'm the type of person that wished the quiz was longer and had, like, all the questions, so that you can more definitively get your personality in there. Yep, they have all the starters and, I believe, two other Pokemon. Yeah, it's all the starters, then Pikachu and Riolu. But we'll quickly go through all the Pokemon that are available, and then I will choose the Pokemon that I want to be. We have Pikachu, who starts with four moves. Huh, Grass Knot. Isn't that a grass move? How do you know a grass move, Pikachu? I wonder what the, like... I guess the little arrow icons are there to be like, hey, this uh, is, extends beyond tiles. <laughs> Chikorita out here with all the ranged moves. Ah, you can even change it with uh, the shoulder buttons. Each of these Pokemon have four moves and even some egg moves and tutor moves. That's cool. We have Cyndaquil, Totodile, Trico, my first Pokemon and Mystery Dungeon partner from Rescue Team, Torchic, Mudkip, Mudkip, I heard you like Mudkips, Tortwig, Chimchar, Piplup, Riolu, Snivy. Oh, I also kind of like that each one has like a different experience to the next level. That's kind of neat. Snivy, who we were in the GTI. Tepig. Oshawat. Oshawat. Chespin. Finnekin. Froki. Bulbasaur. Charmander. Squirtle. And Pikachu. But after long thinking about it long and hard... I know who I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be a basic bitch, and I'm gonna be a Riolo. I'm gonna be the Aura Boy. Or Aura Girl, depending on what it'll do. Is this the right Pokemon for you? Yes. As always, I am Neon. <laughs> My favorite video on the internet is the one where it's just like 10 hours of two Mudkips going, Mudkip! Mudkip! That is a funny video. You'd like to go with the name Neon? Yes! And the partner who will stick with you through thick and thin on this adventure. So cool, it's Tepic! Huh, interesting. It actually randomizes that as well. But sadly, no, Tepic. You are not going to be my partner. Is this the right Pokemon for your partner? Nope. Sorry, Tepic. What does your cherished partner look like? That's a cool way to phrase it. My cherished partner's gonna be a Finnegan, because I really like Finnegan. Finnegan, Break, uh, yeah, Breakson, and Delphox, they're cool Pokemon. So we're gonna go with Finnegan. Shit, I don't know what I'm gonna name you. Oh, and then it asked... Oh, wait, hmm. Ah, man, I think I, I misunderstood the, the diddly-dee. So one thing, we're going to reset, because 
I think I misread things back there. Barfungal indeed. I think I miss diddly deed because I am a fool. We'll quickly redo the quiz. I just want to make sure that I do this properly. If we're going to make this super, we're going to do it super right. And plus, this is probably just my perfectionist brain going, you fucked up one thing, you fucked up one thing. But hey, we already did this. I finally found you. I came here just to find you, you know. Please come and lend us your strength. Oh, that cool and cute question was just for your partner. They just ask it again if you change the option. That's kind of weird. Why have it twice? You just confuse me. Don't you throw it at me twice, making me think that I misread? But hey, we can do it again, honestly, and see what it would give me. It would be hilarious if it gave me a real loo. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, hey, it's this again. You want to make friends? What do you do? The player is gender-locked as male for some really weird reason. That's kind of interesting that they went, hey, <laughs> like, in the past games... Are you a boy or a girl? In GTI, you, they don't ask you at all. In this one, they ask you, but only for your partner. That's kind of funny. Disaster strikes. You've lost your wallet. Hmm, probably common retrace steps. Get very annoyed, but... Da -da -da. He's talking about this great new book. It's big and long. Hmm. I mean, I don't mind length. I regularly read fanfics that are over a million words long. Length means nothing to me. We already answered that one. We already answered that one. But I wonder why they decide to gender lock it as male. <gasps> why gender lock like one but not the other? It just seems a little weird. They took away my anime music. Oh no, they they brought it back. I just misread because I'm a fool. And cool. You're a genius at having fun. Your cheerfulness makes everyone smile. It changed like two questions and it got a different one. Each day is a happy day when you're around. With your ability to produce warm, fuzzy feelings all around you, you must be... Nice to know my personality is so fickle that I can... Or no, is it going to be? Huh. So it just had, like, different, like, dialogue for the answer. Like, the other one was calm. That was cheerful, it feels like. But I'm gonna be a reader. Riolu. But I wonder why they, like, make you ask twice. I guess, like, I don't know. Maybe it has to do with, uh... Like, do, do they gender lock your partner on some of them? Like, how do they even determine the partner? I wonder. And your partner will stick with you thick and thin on this adventure. Is Tepig again? The whole thing is rigged. It's always Tepig. But nope, we're gonna go. I still don't know what I'm gonna name you, though. Yes. You are cool. Is Finnegan alright with you? Yes. But what do we call you? Because I, this entire time, did not even for a moment ponder what I was going to name my partner. Name it Barfungal? Nah. I like to be respectful to my partner. Hmm. The name that comes to me is Gabriel. I don't know why. Not Gabe, specifically Gabriel. I hope I spelt it right. <laughs> I'm, my brain is now going in super paranoia mode. Did you, did you do it now? <laughs> did you spell it correctly? 
Of course, it looks like no, I did not. A is not the one. It is an E. According to... Double check. Gabriel. May triple check it because I can never trust my brain. Gabriel Finnegan. Let's go. You'd like to go with the name Gabriel? Yes. Are you satisfied with these two Pokemon? Yes. Then it is time for us to go to the world where Pokemon wait. Your grand adventure is about to begin. So how do we fall to this world? Do we just wake up? Do we fall fall? <laughs> Save complete. Are you going to tell me to take a break? All life in this world is said to have been born from the same source. Ominous music and sun. The sun and the stars. The skies and the seas. And even Pokemon are all bound together as one. Pokemon Company Spike Chunsoft present. Interesting. So we get kind of, so this is kind of sort of the intro. Oh. Meteor? Am I Oh, I was going to make a joke. Am I secretly a Deoxys? Hello Deoxys. Is that Hello Rayquaza. Is that the legendary Rayquaza? I've heard of it before, but this is my first encounter with it. It's every bit as intimidating as I'd heard. But I thought it inhabited the ozone layer. Why has it come past the stratosphere? Is there danger down below? Something strange must be afoot here on this planet. And why are you here, Deoxys? Those that live on this planet and those that have come to this planet. That's a long title for chapter one. Where am I? I feel like something was calling me. But I'm not sure. What's going on? I can't remember. I can't even open my eyes. Ah, good landscape again. A mini waterfall leading to a lake. Where am I? What is this place? My head is pounding. Huh? Why can't I remember anything? Wait, do I know my name? Okay, at least I remember that. I can't remember anything else, though. What's going on here? I'm parched. I need to find some water. Oh, over there. <laughs> glug, glug. I... I feel alive again. Does that imply that I died? It's incredibly delicious. Never has water tasted so good. Well... <laughs> water does taste good after a long day's work. Or at least a long period of time of not having water and you working hard. <sighs> okay, calm me down now. Huh? I can see something reflected on the surface. How do you not know that your body changed physically while moving around? Like, I guess mental blocks? What? What's going on? Could it be... Is it even possible? Have I become a Pokemon? What? what? <laughs> a nice little panic animation. Why? Beam! Uh... Beam! <laughs> flicker, flicker. They're playing Simon Says. What is that? Whoa! Okay, what do you want with me? What's the deal all of a sudden? Okay, instant badness. <laughs> uh, uh, somebody, help! Oh, over there! Ah, Nuzleaf. Huh? What's wrong? 
What are you all in a? F Why are you all in a fuss for? Did, did the Pokemon just talk to me? Oh, what did I do to you? Oh, oh, sorry. I'm Nuzleaf. It's all right now, so just calm down. Okay, I'm Riolu now too, so I guess I can understand Pokemon. Huh? Why do they have to like pre-coordinate their assault on me each time? Well, what in the world? Ah! I'm scared! <laughs> well, fat lot of good you are, Nuzleaf! Oh no. Ain't that one of them Mr. Dungeons up ahead? Be he! Be he! Ah, there ain't no other way to go. <laughs> well, this, this is sudden. These mystery dungeons sure are mysterious, all right? Every time you go into one, it'll have a different layout and different items in it. And all the Pokemon around here seem mighty on edge attacking for no reason. It's altogether hard to get out of a mystery dungeon once you've gone in one. You'll be wanting to find the stairs if you've got any hope of moving forward. Watch out for enemy Pokemon while you keep an eye open for the stairs. I'll take lead since you seem new to this, but you stick on me like a bad stain. Okay, kind of neat. Tag Nabbit! It's an enemy Pokemon! Looks like it's asleep just now, but if it rouses itself, it'll surely be looking to rough us up! We'll have to use our best moves to beat it. I reckon I'll take this one, so watch close. Don't walk super far ahead, but if we get separated... And another one! Tag Nabbit! It's time you tried to handle such business yourself, young friend. I'll keep an eye out. Creep right up until you're just one step away from an enemy. Then, you hold down L and select the move to use! Alright, I can do bite, vacuum, vacuum wave? Well, vacuum wave? I want to know more. What is vacuum wave? It's a two-tile move, but, uh... Bite seems to do more damage. So, huh. Interesting. It damages an enemy. Well, I guess I'll go with Bite. Nom. That's the ticket! That's how you use your moves to battle off these ornery folks. But use your moves too much and you'll run out of power points sooner than later. Then you got no choice but to attack with your handy A. But using A to attack is awful weak. So try not to run out of power points for your moves. It's interesting because there's never been a tutorial like this in a Mystery Dungeon game so far. Woohoo! There's an item line here! Walk on top of something in a Mystery Dungeon and you can pick it right up! Hop right on there and try it out! Adventure hint! This is an Orin Berry. Eat it to restore a large amount of HP. To eat one, press X to open the menu and then select it from the list of items. That's the ticket! I reckon we should get moving along. I kind of like that they're laying out the basics for you. Hot diggity! I reckon we found the stairs! Stairs like these are the ticket to making it through these mystery dungeons. And then I'm underneath it. Let's go. <laughs> you, you ever think how in canon, uh, the canon main character most likely doesn't get to choose their form. Like, imagine being destined to be a Chikorita. Imagine being a, f like, I don't know, a Magikarp, a Sea King. At least a Feebas could become kind of cool with a Melodic. Do you reckon they're still following us? I can't help but be bothered by it. Why don't you take the lead this time? I'll be keeping an eye out behind us. On you go. You can check out a control in Others menu. Hmm, status. I do like the menus. The menus so far have looked nice. I do like, uh, like the little down menu being like, uh, the clouds over a, a map. But let's check Others menu. Type icon guide. Oh! Neat! Ah! So it even tells you what's very effective and not very effective when you hold the diddly D. Neat! And it has icons for all the different moves. Ooh, I can change the menu. Or like the, the icon border. Ah, that's a neat icon border. Oh, that one's like kind of sweet too. There's only six, but they're kind of neat. 
but I kind of like the base one. I guess we'll go with fast. Hmm. I guess I'll leave that on just because. Yes. Message log dungeon status. Huh. I give up. <laughs> Underfoot, look around. Oh! Cool! You can glance around your immediate vicinity with that. That's neat. Move settings. So I guess like... But we'll not mess with that just now. We're gonna... Okay, maybe that goes a little too far ahead. Ooh! Hey, we even get like dialogue in there. Ah, oh, it even shows like uh... What my moves are good against. Neat. That's a handy dandy little thing. But, uh, back to options. <laughs> Maybe, uh, go back to regular speed. I think that might be a little too fast. I kind of like the... Oop, hello. Haha, <laughs> you missed, you idiot. Now I shall bite you. And kill you. And now I can bite you too. I like that it tells you things. <laughs> Can't believe you're using the same duo I had? Huh. <laughs> well, kind of neat to have. Or like... It's probably... I wonder how many people... That would be a neat statistic to know. Like, how many people use, like, a certain hero-partner combo. With maybe even setting up the difference between... Like, hero being one and the partner being another. That'd be cool. Ah, from Twitch chat, this game brings back so many memories. It is surprising to, th to think that this game is almost uh, ten years old. Ah. Uh. Adventure hint! This is a wonder tile. If your stats have been lowered by moves such as Growl or Tail Whip, stepping on this t will return them to normal. But watch out, any raised stats will also be returned to normal. So definitely going on after GTI. Would you like to save your adventure? Save and continue. Huh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bosses on the card. I wonder if that's how many bosses there are or if they're like secret bosses. Your adventure will be saved. Save complete. It doesn't tell you to take a break. Ha. I'm a struggling. <sighs> I reckon we should have us a little break, but them fellas that attacked us all of a sudden, they're a kind of Pokemon called Behim. 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 I do believe. What are they following you for? Did you cause them some kind of trouble? Why, oh, your childish pranks even got me caught up in your mess, I reckon. Childish pranks? Do I look like a child or something to the Pokemon in this world? Never mind that, though. What should I be focusing on now is... I have no idea what's going on. My life is in danger. <laughs> From YouTube chat, there are so many secret bosses in the post-game. Huh. Hmm. You reckon you don't know why they were attacking you? I have no idea what kind of voice I'm giving this guy. What now? You ain't got no memories at all? Can't remember nothing but your name. Leon, huh? And you say you ain't even a Pokemon at all, but a human? That's all you reckon you can remember. Wait, what? A, a human? Ah, you're the behem. That, that flickering light there. I reckon that's the light from them behem. I reckon we ought to get to running. You're making a Nuzleaf Irish, apparently. I have no idea what I'm doing. Ooh, this is some funky music. Ah, we've got to get away from these fellas and fast. A rushing headlong round here will likely land us in a whole heap of trouble. Now, the first thing you've got to know about a mystery dungeon is this. Every time you make a move, your enemies get to do the same. They shall then attack, and then many Pokemon will quite likely do the same. But on the other hand, they can't do nothing if you don't do nothing. So there's no need to make a fuss. Slow down and think your moves through. That's one thing you might ought to remember. Hot diggity, another enemy Pokemon! That's a Viper at that. But no need to panic. 
In these situations, take a few practice swings and wait for them to come to you. If you wait till they step right next to you, you can get them in the first strike. You follow? Watch me here. See? All you gotta do is swing at nothing, and then any Pokemon just keep on coming. Once they've come right up next to you, attack them before they try to do the same. What even is your level? You're doing a lot of damage, but your health is about the same as mine. Whew. You used to run into all these here enemy Pokemon yet? I reckon you're getting used to it by now. Why don't you go on and try taking on an enemy Pokemon yourself then? Faint with A, and your Pokemons walk right. Uh, your Pokemons, your enemies will walk right into range for you. Or technically, I could do Vacuum Wave, but we'll follow. That's the ticket. Now keep on drawing them fellas right to you. Vacuum Wave. Ow, pain. Gosh, ah, shit. When HP is low, eat an orange berry to restore some HP. If you have one, press X to bring up the menu and select it from the items list. Well, we did get an orange berry. <laughs> I doubt you would know who Marlin, uh, Marilyn is. Probably not. Huh, looks like things open up a bit ahead. Getting through these straight passages is easier if you dash, I reckon. To dash, hold down B and then press a direction. You watch how I do it first, and then come dashing along after me. Like this! Now show me what you've got! Hold down B and choose the direction you want to go! I usually don't do that because enemies are usually in there. That was a fine performance. Looks like I'm standing right in your way now, aren't don't it? If one of your teammates is standing right in your way, you can push them way, pa bleh, push away past them. Go on, try pressing in and see. Huh. Usually you just walk past them, but I guess they, yeah, I guess they change that. That's kind of neat. Could complicate gameplay, but oh well. All right then, I reckon you got the hang of it. Looks like we got us two ways out of this here room. Can't see why, but I've been my life on them stairs being on the upper path. Now let's take the upper path already. You're probably gonna be wrong, but I wanna go down. Not that way. How come you can't listen to your elders? Now you're trying to test my patience? I reckon them stairs are right up there. I reckon we ought to head up there, but we gotta find all the items. Hey, look, I was right, you fool. From Twitch chat, so is this your first playthrough? I played a little bit of this game, a few hours worth, when it first came out all those years ago. But then I got distracted by other things and I haven't touched it since. But recently, I played through Explorers of Sky again for the first time in a long time. And I figured, hey, let's do a GTI. And then I played Gates to Infinity for the first time. And now I figured, hey, let's go through and finish up my Mystery Dungeon experience and play through Super Mystery Dungeon for the first proper time. From YouTube chat. What did I miss anyway? Uh, well, I did create a little, like, uh, introduction, celebration, kind of mini AMV of the various, like, uh, other Mystery Dungeon games openings using Explorers of Skies opening theme. And uh, we chose our Pokemon. They brought back the quiz. That's nice. I chose Riolu as mine, Finnegan as my partner, and now we're being chased by Behim. Or however you pronounce that. Huh? Sorry. Looks like we found us a dead end. My gut let me the wrong, I reckon. Guess there's nothing to do. Set head back. Whoa! Well, you can just push your way through if you'd like. But you can just slide on by too. When you just want to do that, just hold down B and press. It's the same as when you dash. Huh. Interesting. I kind of like being able to move, move them around. I reckon you've got it. That there's how you pass by someone. You just hold down B and press the direction pad to pass somebody. But by, by the by, I've got a feeling the stairs ought to be right down there. I reckon we should head down. I mean, there's no other way to go. Meanwhile, I would have found them on my first go. You fool. <laughs> Nothing made of just the implication that this player character is like a five-year-old child. 
maybe not five years old, but it definitely seems that at least the Pokemon of this world thinks the character is a younger character. <laughs> kind of interesting how the player character's like, wait, does this Pokemon think I'm a child? I guess kind of to cover the bases of, like, maybe the player character could be older but got age regressed as a Pokemon. <laughs> Pretty funny that a five-year-old is going to go kill God. <laughs> Adventure hint. You can learn more about the game rules by browsing the others menu. Press X to open the menu and then select how to play or adventure hints from the others menu. Would you like to go on? Yes. Although the game <laughs> assigning the character an age, apparently, does mean I won't be able to make my usual hero partner comments. Let's hope I don't forget. Looks like we may have lost them behim. I highly doubt that. They're gonna come for us. Why are they even after me? Are they like aliens? Is that why Deoxys came here? I forget. But we still can't let our guard down. You just go on ahead now. I'll be watching behind us. If I get a whiff of them behim, I'll let you know. Oh, hey, an apple. Oh, did they... They reintroduced Belly. Then again, if I remember correctly, GTI did have, like, the stomach mechanic, but only for certain dungeons that I didn't do. <laughs> From the YouTube chat, the FBI is going to be banging on Neon's door by the end of this playthrough. Eat an apple or a big apple to fill up your belly. Pick up on any that you find. Now we can have dungeon picnics again. From Twitch chat, I hope you enjoy the game. Super Mystery Dungeon is my favorite game ever. I've certainly heard a decent, like, I've heard, like, good things about it, but nothing specific. So I definitely hope that it comes out to be good. Because I really enjoy, like, I even enjoy Rescue Team. I very much enjoyed Explorers. Explorers of Sky is my top one. Gates to Infinity is a very close second. So I can't wait to find where Super Mystery Dungeon lands in my rankings. Press X to open the menu and then select items. You can check items you picked up. In the item section, you can use or eat the items you picked up. I wonder. Ah, Belly is at 86. Huh, kind of nice that it's like up there in a little graphic. Another Orin Berry. Time to die. I didn't even need Nuzleaf. Oh, you covered for me. Nice. Well, no need to use my fighting move. Died anyway. So far, I'm liking the feel. I kind of... Oh, I just realized the camera's kind of pulled back compared to Gates to Infinity. With Gates to Infinity... Oh, I'm pushing you. My bad. I'm not used to that mechanic. <laughs> I'm just used to pushing by my teammates just normally. Adventure hint. Drink an elixir or a max elixir to recover power points for all your moves. It's a good idea to keep a few on hand. Power points is a value that determines how many items you can... How many times you a move has, can be used. I just bumbled all over that line. Blah, 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 blah. I really don't understand why Gates to Infinity gets tr uh, trash talked so much. Exactly! Gates to Infinity was fantastic. The gameplay additions were good. The characters were great. How they were, in, like, in, uh, integrated into the gameplay and the plot was cool. It was like, it had good vibes. Like, I, the only reason why you would kind of talk down about it is because it removed the quiz and was shorter than uh, Explorers of Sky, which is kind of a unfair metric because Explorers of Sky already had the base of the Rescue Team games to work off of and the base of Explorers of Darkness and Time to work off of. From YouTube chat, I've been playing Legends Arceus. Was surprised when the professor said my character looked about 15. Legends Arceus is a fun time. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of funny that, like, we officially... Well, then again, they kind of wiffle-waffle about it, because it's just like, you look about 15, just to give you, like, a little bit of leeway, I guess. Uh, a quick insight into a mechanic re revolving apples that the game doesn't tell you when you pick up an apple in a dungeon. Is, it is a fresh apple and will sell for a hundred pokey. The fresh apple will spoil if you go into a if you enter a dungeon before selling it. Huh. 
None, uh, none fresh apples sell for about uh, five pokey and can be bought from Kekleon for 20. Hmm, interesting. So I'll definitely need to keep that apple mechanic in mind. Got you. From Twitch chat, honestly, I'm not a fan of the quiz. I'd rather just pick my Pokemon. That might be a controversial opinion. Me, I like to have both. I like the ability to either do the quiz and have the game select for you, or to then choose, oh, no, thank you, I prefer to have this Pokemon. I like the dual nature of it. But, huh, let me see if there's, like, uh, info. It's a very fresh apple. Eating it somewhat fills your belly. If you eat it when your belly is full, it increases... Excuse me? It increases your belly's capacity slightly. A fresh apple can be sold for a higher price. It'll be an apple after a while. Huh. Interesting. So if you want to make bank early on, sell fresh apples. But I wonder, like, what the metric between non-fresh apple and a fresh apple for belly value is. Not very effective, did 49 damage. And up we go. Both apples restore 50 belly. Hmm. Interesting. Fresh apples are the same for belly, just sell price differs. Huh. I wonder why. Oh, oh, a wand? A wand? Magic? Magic? A magic wand? <laughs> I am Riolu, magical girl. Huh. Waving it at a Pokemon warps that Pokemon and a uh, Pokemon near it somewhere on the floor. I guess that's to replace orbs, maybe. Congratulations, Birdman. There are no <laughs> fire types in this team. Pokey works as money in this world. Collect it as so you can use it to buy things at shops. You fool. You double fool. Get bit. You flying monster. Slumber wand. It'll basically be the same thing. Ha <laughs> ha. Cheer through the air. Oh, it even tells you what type the Pokemon is in this mode. Flying water. Cool. I, I keep forgetting that I push you now instead of just go by you. Oh, that's going to drain my belly so fucking fast. I am going to starve pushing my allies around. <laughs> I take it you haven't played Rescue Team DX? No, I have not. The rescue of uh, the games that I've played were Blue Rescue Team, Explorers of Sky, and Gates to Infinity. Like maybe someday I'll play Rescue Team DX. It's just I've not had the opportunity just yet. Eat the duck. Get flinched. Why did you kind of run away? That was weird. Vacuum wave. Critical hit annihilation. Again, how do you basically have only 10 more health than me, but deal a billion more damage than me, Nuzleaf? In the dungeon, your belly will gradually become empty as you walk around or use moves. If your belly reaches zero, your HP will start to drain away, so watch out. Really, I feel like the pushing mechanic should be the one that's like, hold B, then direction. With passing by allies being the default. But, yeah, that could just be me. Get punched. Get nommed. Man, my vacuum wave must be fucking garbage because it didn't... It did the same amount of damage as a normal bite attack. A super effective stab. It was not enough. Wands? What is this? Harry Potter? Next thing, Riolu Neon learns the unforgivable curses. 
I am going to, I'm going to use the most evil spell, tax evasion. Ah, you son of a bitch. I shall quick attack back. Ow. Will you please? I wanted to face a different way so I could attack. Blech. And now we approach. I do kind of like that it sends a reminder like, hey, your belly is being drained at this rate. It hit this milestone. Of which, yes, game. And what is this? A slumber wand. And this is a whole treasure trove of items. See, Nuzleaf? This is why you walk down the way. But I do kind of like knowing that apples like are basically cosmetic in terms of like, oh, this is fresh. This is not as fresh. It's like this is a day old apple. And you can like get a decent amount of like uh blah 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 like money selling fresh apples. It's like a decent money-making scheme early on. Adventure hint. If your stats are lowered by a trap or by an enemy's move, walk over a wonder tile to restore them to normal. But watch out! Any raised stats will also be returned to normal. Ah, now I'm fucking confused. Luckily, Nuzfleef annihilated my foe. So I was not confused mid-combat. But I do like the... Like, again, I really do enjoy that the camera is pulled out more compared to GTI. <laughs> like, uh, it's been a bit. So I kind of forgot how, like, away it was. Oh, and level up time. Neon grew to level six. This Pokemon can learn a new move, but must forget an old move first. Counter. It counters physical attacks. Is there any other information? You'll get the counter status condition, which enables you to counter when you take damage from a physical move. That might be nice. What's Foresight? I've not been using that. It resets an enemy's evasiveness. Ghost types can be hit. We are keeping Foresight. We are, we are keeping Foresight. Counter could be nice. Being able to hit enemies no matter what, or like resetting evasiveness and being able to hit ghost types, we're keeping counter. Or we're, we're keeping foresight, I mean. We're keeping the thing that I'm, I'm not no longer learning. I throw the pie out the window. We're keeping the pie. But you just threw it away. We're keeping the pie. But the, the, it's out there in the world. We're keeping the pie. And then I get shot in the head. From YouTube chat, I was playing Fallout today, and I fired a fat man at a child. True psychopath behavior. In original, like, uh, in the original, like, I forget if it's, like, just, like, a beta version or what. But originally, there was, like, a child murderer perk in, like, a, like old school Fallout 2. Ah, the good old crazy days. Would you like to save your adventure? Yes, I would. You've... Uh, nope, there it is. You've had a great adventure today. You should rest before playing. You fool, you do not control me! <sighs> I do like the little... Like, character portraits again. They're nice. Ah, I think we done. Lost them, Bahiam. We lost them, I reckon. Hey! I sure am beat, but I calculate we got away from them troublemakers. Whew. Cost on it? You should have dragged me into a fine mess. Let me have nothing to do with any of it. But I reckon I could forgive you this one time. Must be an all right and all. Adios, friend. I'll be heading home now. I reckon you ought to be careful on your own way, <laughs> on your own way home too. I have nowhere to go though. 
Ah, uh, but then you're done carrying on about yourself being a human or some such. So that make you from the human world. Yeah. That sure enough is a hard pill to swallow, all right? But supposing I did believe you, then what in the world are you fixing to do now? I have no idea. I've been thrown to this world. No memory except for my name. I have nowhere to go. Got no idea, huh? Hardly a surprise. Well, I can't pay no never mind. As to where you're fixing to sleep tonight, you might better go find you some someplace. <laughs> Good luck to you, friend. Fare thee well. Are you going to turn around one more time or are you actually going to abandon me? Ah. <laughs> Look into my puppy dog eyes. Ah, cost darn it all! Don't go looking at me from baby doll eyes! I don't even have that move. Now if they now if I was an Eevee, I could have that move. Why well, then BM might come along and attack again at any moment? I can hardly leave no child here alone in such conditions, no sir. I can't believe Super Mystery Dungeon is into age regression. I calculate on plumb out of options. You could come to my place. Would you like to go to Nuzleaf's house? Well, I don't exactly have anywhere else to go. This is some fun music. I wonder what happened if I said no, but I'm not into, I'm not that type of person that just sits there and be like, I'm going to be a contrarian. Nope, I'm going to be earnest with my answers. Eh, besides, it would probably railroad me back on. Eh, I reckon we might ought to get moving. The, the way you talk is boiling my brain. Also, our face mask patterns are kind of similar. It was just meant to be. My village is just over yonder. Now it is a fair bit of a walk, so I reckon you might better stick real close to me and don't go getting lost. Here's a question. Why are you and your nipples out here at this time of day, if it's such a far strung away? And why are you surprised about there being a mystery dungeon while we ran away? What are you even doing? Huh, I guess we'll know in the future, maybe or maybe not. Maybe he was just out for a stroll. But I like this music. It's just funny. And so Neon ended up heading to Nuzleaf's village together with him. Traveling down deep valleys and over rugged hills. Camping out beneath the stars when night fell upon them. He was that far away from his village? Really, what were you doing that far away from your town? Huh. Interesting. But I do find it kind of funny. That like, he's just like constantly like, Okay, no, do not. Do not take, do not take the random Pokemon that is claiming to be a person home with you. Just leave him out here. God damn it, I have to take him with me. Until at long last. How, why were you days away from your village? Oh, there it is. You can see it now. I reckon we're finally here. Hmm, a tree. There is a village beyond it, but I do like that kind of hill with a tree. I like that. You see that lake there? That there little village on the shore is where I live. Serene Village. Ah, we're nearly there now. I reckon we should push on. And Neon, once a human, and now brought to this world as a Pokemon, with no memory of what had been left behind, came to Serene Village. To the village where Neon is destined to meet a certain Pokemon who will become the partner of a lifetime in the adventures ahead. Da -da 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 -da. I know the I know this motif. Da -da 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 -da. There's like a bit of a motif I know there. Well, save and continue. From YouTube chat. Ah, Neon is real loop. Yep, I buckled. Instead, we got a repeat Pokemon in here. I then again, well, then again, I was planning on uh, repeating Eevee with Riolu and Explores of Sky until I played the expanded Sky mod and chose Zoroa. So, meh. I like to think the player in Sky was Darkrai, except it like canonically can't happen that way because Darkrai is found wandering 
But the idea of, like, uh, Darkrai... But that is, like, a cool fanfic idea, at the very least. <laughs> Title card theme. It was a very good theme. <laughs> so it's a time paradox. It would be a funny time paradox. Or would it be... Well, I forget. Is it called the bootstrap paradox? Where, like... I think as Doctor Who put it, because Doctor Who actually made like a short little video where the 12th Doctor talked about the bootstrap paradox, I believe. Or was it the grandfather paradox? One or the other. But he basically said like, oh, if somebody wanted to take a time machine and go back and visit like uh, Mozart and have him sign his stuff, but he gets there and nobody knows who Mozart is. So he transcribes all of Mozart's music and becomes Mozart. Where did the music come from kind of thing? Oh, that's cool. Chapter 2 meeting Gabriel. They actually worked the partner's name into the, the, the chapter title. That's cool. <laughs> Since this is the first Mystery Dungeon game where you can play as whichever Pokemon, I immediately chose Riolu as well. <laughs> uh, then there's me. I just cheat the quizzes. I find a guide and then do them. And then sometimes have to restart because the quiz doesn't give you all the personality type options in a single run sometimes. Meh. I reckon we're here. This here's my house. And now my house. This way. Here you are. You can monk down in this room for now. It may not be much, but take it as you will. And well, as for the rest of it, what do you reckon you're gonna do? I have no idea. I am apparently a child, even though I am I am a grown man and now I'm being treated as a child. Dear God. <laughs> Is your partner male or female? I went with cool as my partner option. I can't help wondering why them Behem were coming after you like that. And so soon after I woke up, too. <laughs> like, did they know that I would be here? Were they harvesting human Pokemon organs? Well, now that's an idea for a story. <laughs> There's a hor uh, an organ harvesting operation, but they harvest the organs from interdimensional people they s kidnap from other universes. That's a that, that's a terrifying story idea. <laughs> I swear to Arceus, I can't escape my name being mispronounced even in games. Yeah, that have. <laughs> Depending on your name, that can happen. The world is evil. But all the wandering in the world won't give me nothing but a headache. We could get us some answers if and when your memory comes back. But until then, you can just stay here. Sound good? I wouldn't tell the other folks in the village about the Behem, uh, them Behem, though. Might scare them off. And let's see. That's right, you're about school age from the looks of you. And because of my lack of memory, except for me, the puppeteer controlling me, uh, I cannot refute you. So I reckon I should get you enrolled at the village school. People will wonder even more about you if you aren't going to school at your age. Or presumed age. So let's just agree that you'll go to school for the time being, alright? Then I can learn to be a Pokemon. I reckon I'll go and get all that took care of right away. So don't you stick one toe out of this house till I get back, you hear? Well, I guess. You hear? No, not to go outside. Not even by mistake or nothing. Excited to see Neon play Super Mystery Dungeon? I've been having fun so far. <laughs> Immediately. I... Oh, was there a slam? <gasps> what was that noise? What the fuck? Whoa! Have the BEM come for my soul? Well, that's horrifying. There's something outside. Could it be those BEM? I have no idea how to pronounce that name. I thought I'd lost them once and for all, but... I do kind of like that it sort of resembles the rescue team house a little bit. But, well, time to... Hmm. Also kind of a bow-shaped uh, floor mat. Well, time to go uh, <laughs> see what's evil. I don't see anyone out here, but... I can't let my guard down. If I'm not careful, then... I'll be attacked by a Finnegan. Beachy Sparkle Finnegan. I knew it! Ah! I knew my eyes weren't playing tricks on me. I totally saw you go inside with Mr. Nuzleaf just now. Where are you from? What's your name? Uh, well, 
my name. I'm Gabriel. I live right nearby with my old pops. The house right there. Why were you behind the house that I am now living in? So, where are you from? You're not seriously Mr. Nuzleaf's kid or anything, are you? There is no way that Nuzleaf could land a Lucario. Not in a million years. <laughs> like, <laughs> that could ever happen. <laughs> oh, right, but this is your first time here, isn't it? In that case, I'll show you around the place. Come on! <laughs> hey, what? What did you say your name was? I didn't say anything. You're kidnapping me. Oh, wait, did I ask you that already? Or did I didn't ask you, did I? I see. So you're Neon, huh? Sorry about that. I went and asked and never even gave you a chance to answer. Hmm, am I annoying? You're totally thinking about how annoying I am right now, huh? Uh, maybe not annoying. Just overly excitable. Well, quit it. Sheesh. Give me a break, you big mill tank. Did, did you just call me a cow? <laughs> See what I did there? A little joke? With the milk tank? <laughs> I didn't get the joke. Which lead us to... Ta-da! Here she is, Sering Village. And her heart is this plaza here. Hey, there's a Halucha. There's a... I forget his name. Lots of people. Oh, and there's your old pops, I guess. And a Kecleon, but not a purple one. He's still out there. Boy meets boy. Boy kidnaps boy. And that's how friendship starts. And then we get into life and death situations together. It may not look like much, but we've got most of the basic facilities here. Over there, you've got your deposit box. They still don't have Mama... Mama... What is it? Kangas Khan in the game anymore. Sadness. You can deposit your items and pokey in there and take them out again later. And there's Kecleon's shop. You can buy all sorts of items there. It's probably too much to take in all at once, so I'll tell you about each facility in turn. Let's see. To start with, we've got... There you are, Gabriel. Oh, a completely wrong voice. Eep, Lombre! So this is where you've been? You're the one who tramped all through my lotus pond, aren't you? It, it wasn't like that. I was just trying to have a little adventure. Gabriel, stop right there. What are you, a French? A French hippopotamus? God, hippopotamus! You, and you are the one that went into my cave, aren't you? And what's more, you took the treasure I did inside, didn't you? No, I was just exploring the dungeon and I happened to, uh... Well, you know how it is. You can have a reward after cleaning a dungeon, right? Stop right there, Gabriel. P Pops? Oi, old man Caracosta! This is where you've been loitering, child. What about your chores back home, eh? Playing hooky again to wander around, eh? No, Pops, I have a real reason this time. And I know you've been snacking on the orange berries from my field again. I have not. You have! Have not! I want the truth from you, child. Yeah, I did eat them. They were delicious. <laughs> hey, I see Gabriel over there. Everybody, <laughs> Gabriel's been sighted. And already a lynch mob will form <laughs> from from YouTube chat. Oh, Arceus the French. <laughs> and also go inside the building to the left after the cutscene. We'll do. Everybody, Gabriel's been sighted. Ah! Don't you dare run! We'll catch you. We're coming for you. Well, great. My first friend is a wanted criminal. What in the world did I just witness? Okay, I ended up being left behind, but since I'm here anyway, I might as well have a look around. <laughs> Dang fugitive was arc already. <laughs> Pro tip, when you're in a town or village, you can save your game by pr going to the X menu. Inside a dungeon, you can use an item known as a progress device to save your game. Interesting. Ooh! This is some chill music. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. And look at the size of this. It even shows you like uh, the different places you can go. Well, as they said, we'll go right up here. <gasps> Mama Kangaskhan! You're alive! 
The world is grand and glorious. Oh, me? You seem to be a new face around here, my child. Is this your first time visiting our village? Pika. Boo! That's what I like to do. Shh. You can hear lots of things if you stay quiet. Are you the Azumarill from uh, the Diddly Dot? Oh, found a blast seed. I am now a thief. I'm a painter. To me, art is... Well, art is... Yeah, it's a mood. You child! You are a child, aren't you? It was obvious to me at a glance. My hobby is teaching useful moves to good little children. He's like Kung Fu fighting Santa Claus. Hakra! Sadly, I haven't been hearing the cheers from my little halucha maniacs out there. Which is why I can't open my shop just now. Sorry. I'll be sure to open up shop once I feel the love of my little halucha maniacs. You'll just have to be patient until then. Hakra! Hakra! Oh, there's a neat little, like, fire pit that you can just hang out down here. Neat. I do find it funny that I just kind of abandoned Gabriel. It's like, I'm not gonna get involved. Oh, a customer. Welcome, welcome. Wait, are you a kid? Uh, not that that's a problem. Anyone's welcome as long as they pay up. So in that vein, welcome to the Kecleon shop. They're really hammering it in that they think I'm a child. Doo -doo -doo. Ooh, a progress. <laughs> a prog. Okay, so there are wands and orbs. Huh. A tiny reviver seed. Having it in the bag revives a Pokemon will faint it, but it doesn't restore your power points or belly. Hmm. <laughs> Eating it has no particular effect. It will become a plain seed. Enables to save a, your uh, adventure in a dungeon. I wonder if it's a use or just like <laughs> a single thing of. <laughs> I don't know. Brain is dead. Ba -ba. I guess I'll sell my uh, big apples and get good old profit. Ba yeah, I'll sell the apples that I have for maximum profit. And then I will buy the normal apples. So that I have apples to eat during dungeons. <laughs> Progress devices are single use, but you can save scum using them. Hmm. Thank you for your business. Oh, I think I progressed the story. What's going on over here? What, Gumi did? Yeah, well, he insisted on going. No more excuses, Shelmet. Tell me the truth. You and Pancham pushed him into this, didn't you? That's not fair, dearling. He's the one who said he wanted to go. How can you stand there and blame us? Quite easily. You're the ones who are always teasing poor Gumi, after all. Someday you're going to go too far and it'll be too late for sorries then. I know that. No need to fuss so much. You're going to show me the way there right now. Please give me opportunity to go walk around a bit. Those two kids, they must live here in the village too, right? I wonder what's going on. They seem pretty tense about something. I shall save again, because I can. Ba -da, ba -ba. <laughs> it seems like the game is kind of pushing me towards following them. But later, I shall put my money away. And let's see. Ah, we have treasure boxes back. Oh, all your power points a little bit. We'll put the items I'm less likely to use away. I guess I could leave it alone, but I can't help but wonder about those two kids I saw. They seem kind of desperate. I do kind of find it interesting that the dialogue they're choosing for the protagonist leaves it kind of open that maybe they were older and then got smacked into the Pokemon world. Younger. Kind of ambiguous. Who knows, maybe they'll cement it later. I can't help but wonder about those kids. Let's go. We must help them. What? He still hasn't come back out? Yeah, that's right. It's been a pretty long time, too. I knew he was a total wimp. No surprise there. 
He should have just admitted what a wimp he is and kept his mouth shut. But he had to go and talk big like he could handle this kind of place. He was boasting, saying, I'll show you. That's what got him in in this mess. How is it that you're a bigger bully than the bullies from, uh, Igly Buff the Prodigy? He's probably huddled up somewhere in the forest, petrified and sniffing back tears. <laughs> you're so mean, Pancham. Gumi isn't even the same age as us yet. Yeah, but he's the one who talks big. He got what was coming to him. We figured it's our job to teach him a little something about how harsh the world is. And if something happens to him in there, what are you gonna do then, huh? I'm going in after him. No way you can't go in there, dearling! What if something happened to you? We can't let that happen to our idol! Well, definite hypocrite there. We're not letting you step a foot in such a dangerous place! Are you kidding me? Then fine, you go in after him! You want us to go? Into the foreboding forest? No way, why would we do that? I mean, it's not that we're scared or anything like that. I don't want you getting the wrong idea or whatever. You understand, right? Hmm? Who's this? Me. Haven't seen you around here before. Where'd you come from? You're not from the village. What's the matter? Skitty got your tongue? Well, no one's gonna understand you if you don't ever speak up. Well, what should I do? I did overhear what you were s what they were saying. I guess I could offer to go look for that Gumi kid. Yes, I will go look for Gumi. Yeah, I can't shake this feeling. I'll do it. What? You'll go in there for us? You sure about this? You do know that this place is like super scary, right? Well, if you really want to go and all, I guess we're not going to stand in your way. But it's no skin off our backs if you get in any trouble in there. Are you sure you're up to this? Where was Gumi trying to go anyway? He shouldn't have gone in that far in. There's a big old piece of paper in the forest not that far from the entrance. A piece of paper? When Pancham and I came exploring in the forest before, see, we brought it in, brought it, yeah, to use like a tarp so we had something to sit on. And then we got jumped by a whole bunch of scary Pokemon. Man, that was awful. You should have seen Pancham's face. Remember it, it still cracks me up. <laughs> Back to the point, so you guys left that paper there, is it that it? And you told Gumi to go find it. Yeah, we told him to find the paper and write his name on it and bring it back. If he could do that, we said we'd admit that he had some real guts. I'm so sorry about this. I think you've got the picture now. Will you really help? Of course, I'm a Riolu. I'm a good bean. Be careful in there. Yeah, we killed a god, Pancha. We'll be fine. Well, not this version of us. Alternate universe us. Adventure hint. In a dungeon, pick up as many items as possible to help you through difficult situation. Check B to check your items. Eat a blast seed and you will spit it for fire forward, causing huge damage. Ooh. This music is kind of nice. But uh, the game gave me a blast seed to use, so I shall use it. Time to die. This is some neat little music. Wave a slumber wand, and it emits a mysterious power that sends Pokemon it hits to sleep. Wands are excellent items that you can use several times. Use a petrify orb to petrify and immobilize enemies. It only affects enemies in the same room as you. Oh, a tiny reviver seed. Neat. Oh, shit. You, there are two enemy Pokemon. You're in big trouble. Use a Petrify Orb, and you can make multiple enemies unable to move. If you don't have it, go back to the path you came from. I'm gonna keep my Petrify Orb. My orb is mine. Oh. Come on, come fight me. I'm gonna save me a Petrify Orb. Well, that's extra mean. Quit lowering. Oh, I want. Uh, would Foresight help me? I wonder. Nope. Foresight is specifically. But I had to give it a shot. I'm gonna save my my uh, petrify orb for true safety reasons. 
But I had to give that foresight a shot just in case I could use it to get around sand attack. Oh, hey, an apple. I can sell this apple for big money. Big money! I really love every single new dungeon theme in Super. I really hope that continues because usually, like, uh, some dungeon themes are kind of more bops than others. But hey, who knows? Hello. I, are you no longer psychic? Or does the f the fairy counteracts the dark? Gotcha. And you just died. I killed a man. I killed a man. His name was Mr. Mime. Remember to stay hydrated, everybody, while you go on adventures. If you fail in your adventure, you'll end up losing your items in Pokey. Then I'll have to kill God to get it back. All right, just give me all the tiny reviver seeds, huh? Ah, shit. Oh, bite was upgraded. Neat. I don't need to worry about it being like, uh... I don't need to wait until I get... Like, uh, blah, blah, blah. But I don't need to, like, wait and, uh, get to a certain point in the story to start leveling up my moves. <laughs> Please die. Please die. Please die. I'll come back down here. Reset. But yeah, the music is very nice. Money! I'll become rich. I feel like I got more rich selling apples. I can become an apple farmer and become the greatest apple farmer in all the land. Fucking wave. Quick attack. Because I want to try and level them up a little bit. More money for me. And a petrify wand. Now I can truly become the wizard. Shit. Yo, damn Taylo. Don't you dare peck my eyes out. And yep, we do have the wait function by pressing B and A. Yep, Mr. Mime is both psychic and fairy type. Four times resistance against fighting types. Interesting. How dare you make me hungry? I shall eat you. Another blast seed. And more money. Nuzleaf is going to kill me when I get back. He was already hesitant to adopt me. One of these days, like... <laughs> He'll be like, you know what? You caused me too much trouble. <laughs> Darn dog! You made me look bad! Just kicks me out. Get flinched, idiot. We are getting tons of tiny reviver seeds. Which honestly, I kind of like. Shit. I kind of like that they're giving like, here, this will keep you from dying completely, but it won't fully, it won't act as like a full restore upon death. What even is Wide Guard, I wonder? I've never heard of that move before. And the best thing is, since I brought in these kind of uh, not super fresh apples, I can take all brand new apples and sell them for massive profit. <laughs> vacuum wave. Don't you leer at me, vacuum wave. Plebeian. I am the apple tycoon Rio Lunion. <laughs> <laughs> From YouTube chat, I don't think Nuzleaf would adopt my Sky character. 
it is kind of interesting how, like, uh, all the other, like, previous characters, like, aside from a few lines from Sunflora and Explorers, age is never really touched on for the player characters. Back in wave. And my move upgraded. My power. It is growing. It's overflowing. I'm going to become the most magnificent Lucario in the world, even though technically my character probably shouldn't even know what a Lucario is. Ba -da -da. Wake up. Ba -da 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 make up. What's Misty Terrain? <laughs> Pokemon that are not in the air take less damage from dragon type moves. What even? Let's see. Do I care about anything? Uh, really out of everything. I guess a Blast Seed is the least. But then again, in this stage of the game, it might actually be pretty good. I guess I'll put the warp wand down. Blast Seed's pretty good. It does 100 base damage when most enemies die to, like, less than 25. <laughs> I feel like I've come pretty far, but... Oh! That must be him! Oh, why did I come here? I'm so scared! Don't worry, I'm friend. I am friend-shaped. Is this the big piece of paper that Pancham and Shelmet were talking about? It doesn't even look big enough to be a, like, thing to sit on for comfort. It's got writing on it. Foot writing? The letters are oddly squiggly and sort of hard to read, but somehow I think I can read them. Somebody messed with my brain and my age! My brain age! Goo me. And that's what it looks like. I see. Which definitely makes this the kid Goomy they were talking about. Goomy made it all the way here and even wrote his name like they told him. That took real courage. Yeah! No, don't worry, I'm here to help you. Huh? You you're here to help me? Oh, oh, oh I was so scared. That's a nice little model for Goomy. You actually made it back? And you brought back the paper too? You even wrote your name on it? Hmm. What's up with this writing? It's so sloppy and all over the place. It is not sloppy! Too funny! I bet you were too scared and shaky to even write properly. That's hilarious. Come on, let's go show this to everyone. See ya, suckers! <laughs> I can't believe they called their idol a sucker. Hey, you two! I've had it up to here with them. And you, and you too, Gumi. I'm glad that you made it out okay, but what if there hadn't been anyone around to help? Sorry, dearly. I wanted to show them that I had real guts too. Those two will just goad you into doing something crazy. You can't listen to them. Well, you did give it everything you had, that's for sure. Dearling! You made it that far into the forest alone and wrote your name just like they asked. Even though your writing is sloppy. Don't call it sloppy! And it's really thanks to you that Kumi got out of there in one piece today. We really do owe you, so thank you. Um, hmm? You never did tell us your name, did you? I am Neon. I am not supposed to have left my house. Nuzleaf is going to kill me. What? After I done told you not to leave the house, I done told you to stay inside until I got home, did I not? Yeah, but then I saw a figure, I went to check it out, then I got kidnapped by a Finnegan, and then I saw some kids that were going off onto something that was dangerous and I had to help. You'd best learn to mind your elders next time. But, well... It ain't like I can understand the itch to see the wider world out there. 
I reckon this must all be new to you, after all. It's a fine thing to have a love of adventure in your heart. Grown-ups will always be saying you can't do this, that, or the other. But there are things in life you'll never learn except by experiencing them for yourself. I reckon I'm pretty lax when it comes to adventuring and what have you. So if you get a hankering to go adventure around the village, you go right ahead. No sleep. But from tomorrow morning, you'll be attending class at the local school. So you tuck in early tonight to be all ready for your first big day. Ah, he didn't kill me after all. <laughs> from YouTube chat. Every time that I hear the old Pokemon anime theme, I get a wave of nostalgia and an urge to sing my lungs out. It is a very good song. It is a very good song. Well, even Gumi's friend is saying he's got bad handwriting or foot writing or whatever it is. You had a great adventure today. You don't control my universe. The next morning. I reckon we ought to head to school early this time. I'll have to introduce you to the teachers and all for starters. I'll go along with you this time, but from tomorrow, you'll make the trip yourself. It is just in a small village. I don't think there's any, like, <laughs> kidnappers in this village except the Behihim. Mm. Let's hit the road. I wonder if Gabriel will be there. Or unless Gabriel was dead. On a hill where a large tree stands. Huh. Chapter 3. Hey! So this is an open-air school. With little huts. Why do we have little huts? They look like, uh, tents. And that's about the sum of it, Mr. Principal and Mr. Vice Principal. Hey! I wonder why they have a... What are you, even a, a pan of something? So I'll be leaving the kid in your hands. Uh, go on, show your manners and say hello. Ho 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 ho! It looks like we'll have another fun addition to our class. What a delight! A simapore. I'll be glad to take responsibility for the education of your young charge. Good, I'll just be sending myself out then. Hmm. Just don't make any trouble in school. We've already got enough troublemakers on our hands. I can't weather another scandal. <laughs> another scandal, you say? When days pass in Serene Village, make sure to visit Kangaskhan. Who knows who you might see and recognize? Ooh, a basically like a cameo shop. Now, now, Vice Principal Watchdog. I would say that's quite unnecessary. Do we truly have any troublemakers at our fine school? Of course we do! One in particular! That very bane of my existence! You know exactly who I'm talking about, Mr. Principal, and don't you deny it! Honestly, I feel like, uh, Panchar, or whatever he is, the panda guy, he seems a bit more of a troublemaker. He tried to get a, a student killed! My dear Vice Principal, I'm sure you'd never mean to speak ill of our precious students. Good morning, Mr. Farfetched! Ah, yes, good morning! Morning, Mr. Farfetched. And a good morning to you, Miss Dealing. Morning, Teach. Hey, Teach. Why are you always carrying that leak around with you, huh? Well, it would be quite far-fetched for me to not carry around such a useful tool. I'm afraid they are wrong about one thing, though. This is no leak. It's a stock. Uh, but never you mind that. Come along, everyone, to your seats. It seems as though the students have begun to arrive. Let's introduce you to your new classmates, shall we? Panchim, exactly. I'm bad with names. Everyone, I have a special treat before you today. An Ardino! They'll kill me! <laughs> well, hopefully not. Unless that Ardino secretly turns out to be a villain. We have a new friend joining us today. You'll all be learning together from now on. Th that's the kid who... You're the one from yesterday. What's that? It looks like some of you already are acquainted with our new friend. For those of you who are not, I'd like you to meet Neon. Neon has just moved here and lives with Mr. Nuzleaf, who you may know. I hope you'll get along well. What's happening? I'm gonna be late! God, why am I the target of your pain? Typical, the troublemaker strikes again! Oh, sorry, sorry, you okay? Oh, y you're the one I... It's the crazy kid from yesterday. Everything's going black. Can't hold on. I can't. His tackle attack is so powerful, he just knocked me the fuck out. 
Huh? Where am I? I can't believe I got assaulted on my first day at school. Oh, you've come back to us. This is the school nurse's office. You blacked out and lost consciousness. It was Gabriel who took you out. Do you remember anything? Well, it's good that you're awake now. Looks like you should be fine. Oh, me? I'm Audino. I'm actually the village doctor, but I also help out teaching health here at the school. I'm sure you'll see me around. I'm afraid class has started without you. If you feel up to it, Neon, you should probably hurry back to them. I can't believe I'm going to be late. Oh, what's this? I got an escape orb. I can escape from school. I'll be free. Everyone is in the middle of class now. If you're feeling up to it, I suggest you join them. So, uh, in the end, the Graveler, fed up with the lack of sleep, decided to try counting Mareep. One Mareep, two Mareep. This doesn't seem very teachy. Three Mareep, four Mareep. Five Mareep. Six Mareep. Oh, there's Neon. I'm awake. I'm listening. Neon, you're finally awake. Are you okay? It was totally my fault for running into you like that. Excuse me? We are in the middle of class, you know. No one said you could leave your seats. Sorry, Mr. Farfetched. Adding that to Gabriel's list of crimes so far. Kidnapping, trespassing, theft, destruction of property, and assault. Neon, are you well enough to rejoin the class? In that case, please find your seat. There's a space open next to Gabriel. <laughs> Oi! All eyes up front! Yes, sir. Now then, let me continue with the reading. Let's see, where were we? Yes, right about here. Seven Mareep, eight Mareep, nine Mareep. Ten Mareep. I feel like that's very silly. Maybe that was class nap time overall. When recess finally rolled around. Thanks again for yesterday. We owe you, Neon. You really saved Gumi out there. Wait a minute. Just what did you do, Neon? Suddenly everyone loves you around here. I am the new class famous person. <laughs> what a bunch of dummies. Hey, Patchum, I've got a good idea. What kind of idea, Shelmet? Well, you see, what if we blow up their house? <laughs> That's how he whispers. That's not ding a dongin That's clink a clankin And finally, classes drew to an end for the day. And after school... Goodbye, Mr. Farfetched. Yes, see you tomorrow. See you later, Mr. Farfetched. Yes, yes, you take care of your way home. Is class really that far away? Hey, Neon! Let's walk home together. Well, we are neighbors. <laughs> All right! I'm sorry I never got to finish showing you around the plaza yesterday. I'm afraid a little something popped up and got in the way. <laughs> but today, today's a new day. How about I take you around after this? What? You've already shown yourself around? Uh, that's that, I guess. Oh, I know! In that case, how about this? I've got some place really good to show you. Some place really good? Yeah, it's the best, and you'll feel great after visiting it. You'll see. Don't you want to check it out right away? Well, yeah, sure, why not? Really? You'll really come with me? All right, you're, you're the best. Man, this guy's just out here doing backflips. Then follow me. This way, hurry. Hold it right there. Hey, I told you to stop, didn't I? What is it? We've got some place to be, so we weren't talking to you. It's Neon who needs to hear us out. So, Neon, you did a pretty good job making out of the foreboding forest yesterday. What? Neon, you went into the foreboding forest yesterday? No one is talking to you, you little... Anyway, Neon, don't go thinking that making it out of the foreboding forest means you're tough. Yeah, don't go thinking that. There are way scarier places than that in the world. Yeah, there are. There are? Where? <clears throat> right, I forgot you're an expedition society wannabe or whatever. Back to the point. 
If you clear an even scarier dungeon, then we'll admit you've got some guts. So how about it? You up to the challenge? Yeah, I'll go, I'll go! No one is talking to you! He does not care. <laughs> Gabriel is just like, ride or die. They're definitely very excitable, which I do enjoy. Isn't this the Drillbur coal mine? That's right. This is a mine that the Drillbur run. But it's not only a mine, it's also a mystery dungeon. The path splits in two halfway into the mine. If you take the path on the right, it'll just continue on to the regular old mine. The path on the left is usually barred. We want you to sneak into the left path and bring back some red stones as proof. I kind of stopped listening there for a while, but I think I've got it. So we just have to find some red stones? That's right. Do that, and we'll admit to everyone that Neon has real guts. I'll have you know that I cleared that dungeon in no time flat. Really? That's amazing! Yeah, well, that's just how good I am. <laughs> Never mind that it's a total lie. They'll find out for themselves once they see what lives down there. This guy is trying to get me killed. <laughs> from from YouTube chat. There's places I can die faster? Where? The children yearn for the mines! They do. So why is no one supposed to go down that left path anyway? Hey, you really want to know? Oh, nope, nope, don't tell me! It's way more interesting to find out for yourself firsthand, right, Neon? That is why I like playing games blind on this channel. They're fun. Yeah, it is. What a relief. That settles it, Neon. Let's go give it a try! Hey, wait! Why are you inviting yourself along, huh? No one ever said you could go. Wait, just, just a sec there, Pancham. Huh? What now? I don't know. This is our big chance. After all, Gabriel is super annoying, right? I get you. Yeah, we could do that. We could get Gabriel killed. Fine, then. The two of you can both go. Just bring us back those red stones. These red stones are cocaine, aren't they? I've been planning to show you one of my favorite places, but I guess I can wait. Let's go check out that dungeon! Ah! Uh, uh, but where are you two going? Inside? You're that little rascal from the village! And this is a mine, you know! A mine is no place for a child! I see, I see. Sorry to have bothered you. Since that's the case, Neon, let's look for an opening so we can sneak in past these guys, okay? An opening to sneak in? What part of this is sneaking in? You said it right in front of us! Y you can't do that! Don't worry about it. We'll be real sneaky so you don't notice a thing. Uh, what? But if you want to get it uh, ready first, we don't have to do go right away. You can get to the plaza that way. If you need some items, head to the plaza first. What do you think? Do you want to go right into the mine? Uh, let's go to the plaza. I need to... <laughs> I need to... Uh, Sell some apples. Gotcha. Let's stop by the plaza. <laughs> I kind of like the drill, the drillbur guys. They're just like, what the fuck? What is with this kid? He just told us he's gonna sneak in. It's like they're one step away from just snapping. I have so many apples to sell. I'm gonna become fucking rich. Damn it. I understand why it's set to no, but still. Ba, 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 ba. Nothing else for me to really buy. I guess I'll keep, uh... Hmm. Well, actually... I'll go like that. And then put my money away. I'll have a savings in no time. <laughs> Another instance of trespassing for Gabriel's crimes. You have to bring back some red stones, you got it. I don't think I've seen you around here before, kid. Where'd you come from? Space. You child! You are a child, aren't you? It was obvious to me at a glance. Oh, we already know you. Hi, Kya, but you haven't heard the Halluchimania running wild.
This is Cafe Connection. Many different Pokemon come here to relax and unwind. We also do a bit of side business in taking deliveries and holding items upon request. Oh, hey! <laughs> is it Locke? Locke, is it you? <laughs> My tusks grow back stronger every time they break off. That's why I chew a, a lot when I eat. Huh. You'll find more than just the village Pokemon here in the cafe. Plenty of folks stop by from nearby towns, plus Pokemon passing through on journeys. I can't believe the, 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 the mushrooms are talking to me. May I offer one of the mushrooms on my back as a token of friendship. That's not a way to start a conversation. Hey, a bay leaf. Come on, we can do this. We can do what? This is where all the Pokemon in the village come to relax and unwind. And beyond. <laughs> Maybe the red stones are gemstones. I mean, you have been playing a lot of Spyro lately. They want to absorb the memories of dragons. Mm, I see. So you're staying this, Mr. Nosleaf? What a mess that must be. Oh, you're not French at all. You're German. Well, let's try in time to sneak in. No way. They can't really mean to go back into the mine. If they are, then I guess we have to stop them. Oh, my. Well, see you. Ah! <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> These poor suckers. Open the menu and select move settings. You can switch moves that your teammates use. Moves marked with X won't be used. Ooh. That's some funky music. It already has Tail Whip to not be used, huh? Ba -ba. He already knows Psybeam. He already knows he wants to be a little psychic boy. Yeah, it's not going to be very effective. Gabriel, why did you do that? I keep forgetting I push. This is some nice music. Get flinched, idiot. Oh, hell, it survived. Quick attack! Also, I do not remember this at all from the little time that I played. Way, way back. Doot, doot, doot. Oh, I love this music! It really sta- I really like music that stands out. Why are there so many rejuvenation tiles? I, an I don't get paid enough for this shit moment. Either that or they just have no idea what to do. It's like, what do we do? What do we do? Oh, this music is very, very cool. Get side beamed, idiot. Well, that's not good at all. Die! Now I'm level 7. Ha ha! I do still miss the, like, level up quotes. Vacuum wave! Growl all you want. I'm still gonna kill you. Yum. Oh, hey, Cubone. Get confused, idiot. And now this tiny reviver seed is mine. So when I die, I come back to life. Just a moment of, what do we do? This wasn't in the protocol. Exactly. How do we stop some crazy kids that want to go into the mines? And they're just like... <laughs> and they're indecision. I just love the fact that they're just like, oh, You know... We can see you. And they're like, don't care. 
Oh. Well, you're horrifying. And now it's going to come charging at us like a monster. And you missed, you fool. Die. This music is nice. I like music that stands out and hits to the soul. Get confused, idiot. And now we're gonna strangle this horse from behind. <laughs> we're gonna take its head and leave it in Pancham's bed. Oh, Gabriel went and picked up an item without me. Neat. Leave the boy alone. In the burn status, the Pokemon will gradually take damage. Attack is slightly lower, too. Go into water or eat a Rostberry or move to the next floor to heal it. Hmm. That's kind of cool. Going into water actually cures that. Oh, yeah, because you're slow. Ow, I got slapped in the face. God damn it. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Gabriel. Gabriel just kept getting in the way. I am already on fire! And now you level up, Gabriel. And you didn't even learn a move like I could have. <laughs> Natural selection. Through the power of natural selection, I've selected live. I'm standing on a goddamn tile, you bastard. Since I'm on fire, I should probably head to the next floor. And you have overused your ember. Luckily, we have a decent amount of ba ba da ba. Let's see. I'm using mine quite well. Hmm. Eh, I'll probably get yeah, a little bit. Ba 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 da ba ba ba. You know, I was gonna say, like, I wonder why I didn't just dip my my burns in the like uh water here, but. You know, my water that is here in a, a coal mine, probably not clean. Oh, that's not good. Double enemy. But he upgraded his ember. Good for you. <laughs> Did that Ponyta, while fading away, lose its flames first? That's almost haunting. I keep forgetting that push happens. I punched the rock. The rock is dead. I wonder if it's related to that one little Rognola guy from GTI. We're getting so much money. You want to come fight this guy? We'll come fight this guy. We beat up a slumbering person. Because why not? In the, pa <laughs> In the last game, you were a horrific monster of doom. Ow. Luckily, I'm a fighting type. I punch you. Then you get embered. And I level up again because I murdered you so hard. I wonder what Nuzleaf is going to say when we get back this time. Jesus Christ, he's a monster. Come on. 
You need to use your scratch more. We don't have endless diddly dick. Excuse me. So in the future, what I need to do is look and see how many apples are in stock before I decide to sell. Only sell when surplus apple. That better not burn me. I'd hate that. Get psi-beamed, magma man. Go back to Mega Man and die. I can't believe you're bullying an orphan, Gabriel. I didn't know this was who you really were. Gabriel shot a psi beam through me at the orphan. Like the accordion of this part is so cool, this song. Ba -ba. We could leave immediately if we wanted. I have surplus apples. You are going to die. Shit. How are you confused and you still hit me, you bastard? Was it the power of the wand? How dare you. When I confused, I hit nothing. Enemy confused immediately hit me. I think game is stealing from me. We're, g we're gonna be attacked on all sides. Go ahead. Wait, I can do this. Die. Yeah, your side beam leveled up and you leveled up. It's like a double level up. Quick attack. Well, that's not very nice at all. How dare you try and slow me down. Quick attack. Ah, shit. In the yawning status, the Pokemon will soon fall asleep. This status is particularly dangerous when enemies are around. Cure it with an item or switch with a teammate. I shall bite the lava. In the sleep status, the Pokemon falls asleep and is unable to move. The status goes away on its own after a while. Oh. Allies can heal your status in this game? Or something? It, it did say a big old thing about him healing me. I wonder why I went along with this. Or if I'm just like, I don't have the energy to argue with Gabriel. Let's go into a dungeon. <laughs> then again, maybe I got a bit of an ego after Foreboding Forest. I'm like, yeah, I went through Foreboding Forest. I went through that other forest with their behem were ca trying to catch me. Maybe I'm just built different. Huh? Could those be outsiders? We've come pretty far. Oh, hey, Neon, look at that! The path splits in two right here! There's nothing in that tunnel there, but... This branch is all blocked off so no one will go in! That's what Pancham said, right? We're supposed to go down the blocked path and get some red stones! I guess this must be the place! Let's go check it out, Neon! Hold it right there! There's no place for children to play! And it sure looks like we are thinking of going to this tunnel over here, but no one's allowed in this tunnel. Uh, not ever for any reason. Uh, so it really is forbidden, Danner. Thanks for telling us. No, no, no need to thank me. Wait, do you still mean you to go in? Then again, these guys are just, like, going through a mine. It's not like they're... Like, they don't know what to do. Make, uh, makes the floor shape visible. Interesting. I think I'm going to carry uh, all of those tiny reviver seeds. Thank you. 
And, uh, considering... Like, uh... How much... Hmm. Ah, uh, you know what? I'll take another Blast Seed, just in case. And I shall put my money away. I do like the lack of music in this part. <laughs> Gabriel is a menace to society. And he's my menace. Are they headed for the prohibited tunnel? Indeed we are. Goodbye. But no one is allowed in, so why? Yes. You're really planning to go in? Yeah. Is that a bad thing? Well, you're kind of famous in the village. And not in a good way. Come on, please. I promise we won't cause any problems. Really? Look in my eyes. See how serious I am? I don't see anything. <laughs> Your eyes are dead and cold. Then I guess we're okay to go in. Let's go, Neon. Wait, what? Th that was never going to go my way, was it? Time to do some murdering. <laughs> we shall take over this mine and create organized crime. I mean, we could probably ext we could probably extort the <laughs> the drillber. <laughs> they're not. They're just pushovers. An elixir, you say? Give it to me. That elixir, I demand it. I demand it now. That elixir will be mine. Oh, hey! A Rostberry. Very nice. You dare string shot in my eye? How illegal. I quick attack you. Shit. Thank you for covering for me, Gabriel. Ow. Now I am in pain. Ow. I am in pain. I probably should have swapped with Gabriel so he could have done some hits. But man, I'm just leveling up my attack super fast because I don't have to wait for becoming a team before they get activated. Which I do enjoy. We are here to kill you. Goodbye. Do. Love it. The music is just so good. The only song I remember in from my previous playthrough was uh, the Ancient Barrow, I think it was called. That's the only song that I remember slightly. Must have been very distinctive for me to really go like, ah, I remember this. But nothing else. Get crit. I got burned. Get crit. You dare try to string shot me from across the town? Why did I cover for you? Ah, shit. I forgot. My teammate doesn't come with me. But I can smack you from across the room. Ow. You kill him. Gabriel knows that HP is low. Uh, don't use. That's why I moved away. And now, thank you, punch. Thank you, punch. Ah, shit. Okay, I should probably. The, the diddly D will probably activate one of these days. The burn. So, had to do that. I am already on fire. 
Stop that. Ah, level up time. <laughs> Nuzleaf watches me get home. Ah, how have you been? I have leveled up three times today. What the fuck? Get smacked. The music is so nice. You think that will save you? How adorable. With the power of the apple trade, we will become gods. And a level up for the boy. Considering you're, like, want to just go and do chaos, I'm surprised that you're still level 5. I would figured you would be, like, at least level 10 with the amount of trouble you get in. The amount of people that want to come kick your ass. Ooh, a little thing to note right now is that Gabriel dying will not result in the game over. It is only Neon dying that will fail at this point in the story. That's kind of dark. It's just like, I see Gabriel get horribly annihilated by our enemies. Next floor, another Gabriel is just there. He's like, uh, how did you do that? Oh, I don't know. Death is painful. And that's why he's a menace to society. It's because... He knows what death, the, the death. He knows what death tastes like, and it is not to his flavor. Do, 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 do. The music is so nice. Also, I just realized the uh, lo like a, a health difference between us. That's a little worrisome. Don't don't die on me, Gabriel. Do, do, do. It is kind of nice that he goes for items, but I'm still I'm just not used to it, so it feels weird to maneuver around him. I have to eat one of our prize apples. Oh well. I wonder how long it'll take Kecleon to realize I'm selling him pristine, fresh apples that by the time he sells them will not be worth a hundred pokey. So basically, I sell him apples for a hundred pokey. I then buy those apples back for five pokey. Or like twenty pokey. I become <laughs> infinite money glitch. Rio Luneon becomes like that British we're gonna break the economy gamer guy. I forget his name. Oh, that's what. I keep forgetting that. Is there anything I care to drop for you? Because this is, uh, what are we swapping for? A confused wand? Hmm. Like a petrify, like a, yeah, it has more uses than a petrify wand, at least. How many orins? Hmm. Uh, warp wand for 17. I'm never going to use you. I'm never going to use a warp wand. And then immediately a situation in which a warp wand would be handy will arise and call me a fool. Let my ally get another hit in and then I punch you with the power of vacuum wave. But I am a dog Pokemon. I should be fearful of the vacuum. Every single time I use vacuum wave, I scream in fear. I am my own worst enemy.
Burp. Also, I just realized, like, uh, the story is going on a bit, allowing us to, like, get to know the characters and stuff before we, like, actively go and, like, make a team. One of your moves has run out of power points. The power point value represents how many times you can use a single move, drink an elixir or a max elixir. To restore the power point of your moves, be sure to keep a few on hand. Go ahead. Answer your fate. God, you're just missing everything. I forgot I didn't have vacuum wave active, darn. My turn. Yum. And then an elixir for you as well, because we need you to be able to annihilate things slightly. Ah, shit. I quick attack you! Ah, uh, good, it was just a tail whip. Now I bite you. I annihilate you. Hmm. You know what? We should probably get rid of the negative statuses before we move along. Since it's a decent trek to the exit stairs there. Yes, yes, I know. I bite the lava. I do not care. He sets fire to the lava. The lava very cares. Let's hug all. <laughs> One thing I just have to ask, why is your Sylveon avatar's neck so long? Oh, I never realized that. It just felt natural. And really, it's not a neck, it's just a giant bow tie. The Sylveon is actually a ghost type, the head is floating. Hmm, looks like we ended up in the dark. Well, that's not good, what evil's here? Silly Neon, is that your tummy rumbling? No, it is not. Huh, that's a pretty odd sound for his stomach to make, though. Exactly! What you hear is not a stomach rumble. Oh, your stomach can even do voices? Neon, you are so full of surprises. A stomach with a verbal blurble, huh? Wh what? What? Were you even listening? That one making the noise is me! I'm the one growling at you! Ah! My name is Gabite, and this is my territory. And you, what are you, kids? It doesn't even matter what you are. I'm not going to go easy on you. I'll treat you like any other thieving thieves that came to swipe my treasure. Huh, thieves? We wouldn't do anything like that. Then why are you here? Um, what was it again? Oh yeah, the red stones. We came here to pick up some red stones. Hey, tell me, have you seen any red stones lying around here? Red stones, you say? Those red stones are my treasure! My most precious jewels! What? I knew you'd come to steal them, you little thieves. No, 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 we... Come, my Drillbur compatriots. It's time to fulfill your promise and rout these thieves. Let the battle begin. Wibble. About that, see, fighting isn't really our forte, so... Sorry. Lol. <laughs> Never mind! I do not intend to forgive you, thieves, even if you are a bunch of kids. Here I go! Let's see, uh, will the wands work on you? I doubt it, but hey, wave. It worked? What magic? Fucking wave! Oh, that went fast. Oh. 
Okay, thank you for going after me and not the boy. <laughs> if he hits the boy one more time, the boy is dead. Here you go, survive one more. I walk away. Oh shit. Somehow you survived, Gabriel. Good job. Yep. I'll take that hit any day for the boy. I'm going through my Ornberry so much. You are very bothersome. I bite you now. Wait, what am I doing? I have a blast seat. <laughs> uh, allow me uh, to uh, recite uh, a, a Shakespearean motto to you. Uh, good day to you. Blah. I completely forgot that I had that. Ugh! My treasure. I will not hand over my treasure. No one said you had to. Like I said, we're not here to steal anything. But you are here for my red stones. B but... But I think you should listen to them. Well, where'd that voice come from? The Trilber? My Trilber compatriots. Mr. Gambite, sir, I think these children were telling you the truth the whole time. I looked into this kid's eyes back at the entrance of the mine, and those eyes held not a shred of... Not a shred of what? Not a shred of anything other than mischief. But still, I don't think they're thieves either. We just really wanted to see what it's at the end of the mine. Sure, we came for those red stones, but you said you're, they're some kind of jewels. If there's something precious like that important to you, then we don't need them. You really came just to look? Yeah. Well, it appears I may have made some rash assumptions. Uh, forgive me. I shouldn't have attacked you like that. It wasn't your fault. We're the ones who came sneaking into a place we aren't supposed to be after all. Yeah, that's what we said. I'll make a special exception. So, come with me. I'll show you what lies at the heart of this mine. Really? These Drillbur are nice. <laughs> they run away, but they stick around just to be like, maybe you shouldn't kill them. Wow, lots of them. A regular dragon's hoard. This is my special hideaway. My treasure chamber. Don't let Spiral the Dragon in here. Oh, this is amazing! It's jam-packed with jewels, Neon, are you seeing this? Collecting jewels is a bit of a hobby for me, you see. I just kept picking up more and more before I knew it. I'd filled this whole room. For a while, no one noticed that I had such a hideaway in a place like this. But then one day, the Drillbug came upon it in their tunneling. Uh, ever since, more and more Pokémon have come to try and steal my precious jewels. Remember to stay hydrated, everybody. That's why the tunnel in this place was blocked off with entry forbidden. Anyone who managed to make it past the barriers, I've had to run off myself. We promised back then that we would fight off any thieves, but... But when push comes to shove, we get all wibbly and wobbly and waddle away. I get it now. Well, now I feel real bad. We didn't mean to put you in a hard spot. But we did get to see the secrets hidden within the mine. We got to see this awesome treasure room. I, for one, am totally pumped, and I'd call this exploration a success. So I thank you, Gabite, and you, Drillbur, too. And thanks to you, too, Neon. I love exploring and adventuring so much, so I get really into these kinds of things. But it was really thanks to you that I could make it this far, Neon. I get to do everything I wanted to here, so now... Oh, I got to do everything I wanted to here, so now let's go visit my favorite spot. Come on, Neon. Let's head back to the village. That's kind of sweet. Sure, we don't have any red gems to show them, but eh, they can... Pantrum can go fuck himself. Huh, well, looky here if it ain't Neon. Hey, you two. Did you get into the block path like I told you to, huh? Yeah, we did. It was lots of fun. What, you did? Then where's your proof, huh? Did you bring us back the red stones? Nope. What? 
couldn't do that. After all, Gabite loves those stones. I didn't want to take something so precious to him and just stick them in my bag. It was way better to just get to see them and have that memory live on in me. <laughs> now they have no idea what to think. Come on, Neon, this way. <laughs> we don't add another theft charge. That's character growth. We're here. This is it. Neon, look over there. Oh, I've never... Pretty great view, right? <laughs> you can look out over all of Serene Village from here. It's not just me who loves this view. Everybody in the village comes here. So I wanted you to see it too, Neon. It's nice here, isn't it? I know this song. Phew! We sure worked hard today. It's so nice to be able to look up at the sky like this. Yeah, that's true. The breeze feels great too. It's such nice weather today. And our adventure was a success. It really is the best kind of day. Would you look at those towering great clouds over there? They're even taller than this big old tree, stretching all across the endless sky. But when the world looks up at them, even they look tiny from so far away. It sure makes you marvel at how big this world is. I... I want to be like those clouds. Like those clouds? I want to race away from this village and see all kinds of places like the clouds do. I want to meet all kinds of Pokemon and have all kinds of wild adventures. Love this song. That's why I want to go to Lively Town and join the Expedition Society. When I'm part of the Expedition Society, someday I want to complete a map of this world. That's my dream. Wow. So Gabriel has a dream. It seems like a pretty good dream, too. I could get behind a dream like that. But I can't. I can't do it. What? They don't let kids join the Expedition Society. Even if they did, everyone says it's too dangerous to leave the village. Can't do this, can't do that. That's all they ever say. Why are grown-ups always like that? They gang up, us, gang up on us kids and tell us the way things are supposed to be. But then, if we listen to them, we'd never get to do anything even a little bit reckless. Well, yeah, if you try doing something reckless, I guess they would step in. But it doesn't matter. I still won't give up. I'll never give up on my dream. Never. Never ever. I will never ever give up. So, Neon? Huh, Neon? Oh, sheesh. I didn't know you were that tired. That adventure must have worn you out. Hey, Neon. You'll support my dream, right? <laughs> That's cute. Even if nobody else does? Ah, oh, you nodded just now. I saw it. That means you will. <laughs> Thanks, Neon. All right. I'll give it my best shot. I'm definitely going for it. Just you watch me. I'll show everybody! That's sweet. This character, <laughs> this partner is very much a character, and I do enjoy that. It felt so good on top of that hill that I dozed off. That was a pleasant place, that hill with the big tree. The world of Pokemon is a lot of natural beauty. I get that it's a really nice place, but... Why am I here in this world? Why did I turn into a Pokemon? Those Behem worry me too. I wonder if I'll be okay just staying here. That thing. What could it have been? This. This feeling. For the first time, I feel true fear. Come on, Rayquaza, you blew up a meteor a long time ago. Do that again. Or is he afraid of a human? 
He's like, those two humans beat me- well, that one human and his partner beat me up all that time ago. I don't want to deal with another human. Field Trip Chapter 4 The next morning. The sleeping animation for Riolu's cute. Ah, damn it, he just left me a note. Hmm, what's this? A note? From Nuzleaf? Neon begins to read Nuzleaf's note. Neon, I'm sure... I sure am sorry about this. Some real urgent came up, and I reckon I've got to head out right away. I'll probably be away for a few days. So I'm afraid you'll have to place all to yourself for a little while. I've left plenty of food, so you shouldn't have any worries on that front. But steer clear of them be him. And don't you go skipping school. Looks like I'll be on my own for a while. Neon, good morning! That sounds like Gabriel. Oh, there you are, Neon. Good morning. I thought I'd come meet you since we live so close. Let's walk to school together. Sure, why not? Like I said, we're neighbors. <laughs> it's kind of fun like this. Until you came, Neon, I used to always walk to school by myself. Good morning, Vice Principal. Good morning. Yuck! If it isn't the troublemaker! And you're not even late today? This is quite the turn of events. I'm just that good of a... influence on the boy. Morning, dearling. Oh, uh, yeah? Morning? Well met, my friend Shelmet. Wow, you're just as annoying as ever. And we're not friends! Morning, pet. Well, stay back! Ah, you're irritating! I can barely breathe of you all over me! It's hot enough these days about you hanging all over me! Guess he didn't like that. <laughs> oh, good morning, Esper and Gumi! Yeah, Esper hasn't talked yet. <laughs> and apparently will not get a chance to talk. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna hit the hay. Well, sleep well, have a good rest. I'm gonna continue for a little bit while longer. Maybe another dungeon, because I'm enjoying this. Again, that's not ding-a-dong, that's clink-a-clank! All right, class, that's the bell. Time for class to begin. Yes, sir! Today, we'll be taking a little field trip. All right! A field trip? On the second day? On field trips, our class visits a dungeon. Why would you bring children to a dungeon? I love how just getting a friend immediately makes Gabriel so happy. Immediately, we are a good <laughs> influence on him. Everybody goes on an adventure together. Attention, please. No talking out of turn. You had better listen to the instructions. Now, let me see. <clears throat> Today, we'll be visiting the school forest. It's called School Forest. We'll reach the school forest from this path. We've left flags deep inside the forest. Bring one back and you pass today's lesson. How are we going to form teams, Teach? Yeah, if Neon ha here now, we've got an extra Pokemon. Teams? Each team is made up of three Pokemon. It's no fun going alone, but having too many Pokemon on a team can get chaotic. Three Pokemon per team is pretty much the right number for exploring dungeons. I've already selected today's teams. Team 1 will be made up of Pancham, Shelmet, and Dealing. Team 2 will be made up of Gumi, Gabriel, and Neon. What? I'm with Pancham and Shelmet? Alright, we totally lucked out this time. We gotta go for Deerling. Let's do this, Deerling. Uh, okay, I guess I've got no choice. It's part of classwork, after all. And Mr. Farfetched, I am too. You'll be in charge of operations, Esper. Everyone will need to work together to clear this dungeon. That's why I'd like you to stay here and use your telepathy to support both teams. I understand. We're on the same team! This'll be great! Gumi, I know that I'm always messing up and causing you trouble, but... This time will be different! You'll see! Yeah, I hope so! Alright then, children, shall we begin? The theme of today's class will be mastering the use of items. I'll pass out item boxes in just a moment. These items belong to the school. I'll have you hand them over any items you are carrying for the duration of the class. Don't worry, though, your items will be kept safe in a deposit box. You'll need to only use the items provided in the item box I give you. They will assist you in clearing the dungeon successfully. Please pick a representative from each team to come collect your item boxes. You don't mind if I go get the items, right? Right? He's gonna mess up, isn't he? 
Gabriel dropped off all your items with Mr. Farfetched. Gabriel picked up a box of school provided items in return. All right, boys and girls, do your best. But Chris Dungeon in no time. There's no way we're losing at Neon and them after all. See ya, you bunch of slowpoke. <laughs> Let's hurry up and get going too. It's time to explore the school forest. I'll keep in touch with you guys while you're in the dungeon. I wonder if we'll really be all right. I'm not as confident as Gabriel. Would you like to enter? Yes. All right, let's give it our best shot. I wonder what kind of items we have. Oh, we got a progress, some tiny revivers, stay away, and slumber wand. Get blasted, idiot. Ah, oh, a slumber trap this early. Oh, no. Damn it. Oh, thank you. Quick attack. This is some nice music, too. We are here to kill you. Shit. I got slammed into Gumi. How dare. Vacuum wave. Are these like wild Pokemon or are these Pokemon also part of the school? Are they just here to... Like work? Get beat up by children all day? No exploding, you. No exploding. And a level up for Gabriel. Huzzah! I'm going to annihilate you. Doesn't seem to be much else, so we shall move along. In tactics meeting, you'll decide what tactics your teammates will use and how your teammates will act. When you want to change a teammate's tactics, press X to open the menu and select tactics meeting. Oh, I wonder if I can... Ah, oh, we can just have it lay out like this. I guess, like, uh, as it's set up now, should be good. Do -do -do -do. An elixir, you say? We could use that. Aha! Fool! Back him with shit! Why are you so hard to hit? Nom. Why are all my moves missing? Why am I such a failure? We yeah, are still like sending children into a mystery dungeon. Little bit uh, irresponsible, I would say. Ah, uh, level up for me. I'm level 10 now. You fool. You cannot beat me. I am beyond you. The music is just so good in this game. This entire series is such good music. I love it. Vacuum wave. Vacuum wave. Perfect. More items to use. Unless we can literally only use the items given to us. 
Nope, seems like we can just use whatever. Items given to us and from this dungeon. Prepare to be annihilated, you fool. No more, die. And we'll let Lee, uh, the sleeping turtle, lie. And we'll just head to our exit. Vacuum wave. With the three of us together, we can take down a T-Rex. There's a lot of enemies in here. Onwards we go. Hey, what are you, little guy? Die. Well, that's very mean. Die. You keep missing. Die. My quick attack has up. My quick attack. My quick attack has upgraded. Yeah. Sure, let's move along. Tiny revive a seed. Well, you're already out of your side beam, so we'll give it to you. Ba -da 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 -da. Get crit attacked with quick attack. I need to do more writing. It just came to me out of nowhere. My brain saying, yo, bitch, get some tippa tapping, get some written writing. Which I definitely need to do. Oh, <laughs> That must be Esper literally chiming in like a goddamn radio. That's interesting. Well, if you ever do start up the game on a second stream, you'll be able to access the music box in the main menu. It plays music from other Mystery Dungeon games. That's cool! Huh? What was that? Gabriel, Neon Gumi, can you hear me? It's Esper! Thanks to her telepathy, Esper can communicate with others from a distance. Yeah, Esper, we can hear you. It seems like you're all doing fine. I'll keep in touch with you like this from the time to time during your adventure. Great, we'll be listening for you. How are Pantum and those guys doing? Are they ahead of us? Yeah, I managed to reach them a little while ago. From what they said, it sounds like they're pretty far ahead of you, Gabriel. I see, good to know. But we're not going to lose to them. Let's pick up the pace, team. I'm, I'm not sure the pace can be picked up any higher than this. I just don't know if I can keep up. Don't worry. I know you can do it. It'll be no problem. We got to get through this dungeon either way, so we might as well be first. You guys thinking the same thing, right? right let's go. Ooh, a tiny reviver seed. What will we swap for you? Oh, trap bust orbs. Hmm. Boom, boom, da, 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 da. Well, if anything, I. Hmm. <coughs> there isn't really anything I want to drop, except maybe the trap bust orbs. Hmm. Because these are school items. I don't really need that.
Vacuum wave. Vacuum shit. Ow! I was gonna make that move anyway, but hey! Kinda surprised that cutscene didn't... revitalize our stuff. Hmm. I don't think I need the stay away wand. Guess we can eat another one, fill up our belly even more. It's not like we're keeping these apples. Buy some apples. Sell some apples. Become Apple Tycoon. Become confused and keep upgrading that <laughs> Psy Beam. Now, let me quickly check my moves. Out of everyone, I think I should use the Max Elixir. Since I have the most moves that I use the most of. Oh no, that tyrant can now save the game. We're all doomed. So good. Ow. Rude. How the hell did you get the... the save progress device and get here that quickly? Teleporting Tyrant confirmed... I wonder if something's gonna happen. Like, is Pan Pacham Pancham gonna try and kill us again? Well, that's very rude, Nom. And I'll level up for Gabriel. A blast seed would be nice for any upcoming boss fights. We're definitely taking an elixir. Honestly, I'm just not using trap busters. Even when I know there are traps around, I like I prefer my inventory to be actually useful stuff. I should not have used that. But it made you flinch, so I win. since I'm not going to be using the Trap Buster Orb. I keep forgetting. Let's give it to you. It's just such delightful music. As if we're on a magical adventure.
Get side beamed, idiot. Ow, very rude. Die. Petrify orb. Hmm. Hmm. I guess we'll swap that. Uh, we get to the end, they're like, ah, we would like our items back. I threw them all the way for new, better items. Why would you do that? Because I am deranged. Die. I said die. Leave him alone. Damn it. Quit it. Die. Let's see. Who deserves it the most? Ah, so let's give it to him so that he can have his ranged attack back. Withdraw this, my fist from your face. Good job, you upgraded your bubble. Just love this music. It's like a, a very nice earworm. Slinks on in and is just pleasant to have. Why is everyone using their tail whip on me? Step. I shall eat this. Yum. I shall punch you from far away. Shit. And now I shall drink an elixir. Elixir for everybody. We all get crunk in the dungeon. No teacher can stop us. Nom. I feel like most of my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon characters, like, end up learning the bite move. And now I level up. I can learn a new move. I can learn Faint. It re breaches an enemy's protect, detect, etc. to cause damage from two bibbidi balls away. But I already have, like, a decent amount of, like, moves. And this is, like, 13. Because everything else does more damage. I have Bite for Dark. I have Vacuum Wave, which is fighting. And Quick Attack for Normal. So, Faint. Like, I'm never going to be on the lookout for enemies with Protect or Detect all that much. I shall punch you from far away. Your death will be funny. <laughs> the teachers hear back from their students. Oh my god, they killed everyone in the forest. That wasn't part of the deal. Hello and welcome to Murder School, where we'll teach you how to murder in school. Ah, good job there, Gumi. See, who 
Who needs it the most right now? Seems to be you. You need to level up your side beam attack more. Vacuum wave! And then bite. Nom. Get crit, Tyrant. Doo, 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 doo. I think we're pretty far into the forest now. We still haven't reached the goal. Uh, oh, look at that! It looks like the trees clear up uh, up here. Let's go check it out. Uh, uh. Poor Gumi. We left Gumi behind, didn't we? This place looks a bit different from the clearings we've been passing through. Maybe, just maybe we're getting close to the goal? What? Where's Gumi? Huh? You're right. Gumi's not here. Where'd he wander off to? This is Esper here. Can you hear me? We can hear you, Esper. Where are you guys now? I could be wrong, but I think we're pretty close to the goal. Really? Well, congratulations on that. It seems like you may have gotten there before Pancham and his team, huh? Really? Yes, the last time I contacted them, they didn't seem to be that far along yet. I guess you must have passed them by at some point or another. Really? Awesome! All right, we might just win this one. Let's get going. But Gumi. But will Gumi really be all right all alone? No, go for Gumi. Neon, look there. Do you think those could be the flags that Mr. Farfetch was talking about? There are two of them. So that means we really are the first team to make it here. It does seem to be true, but more importantly... What? Gumi? Oh yeah, he did wander off at some point, didn't he? It is a bit worrisome. Looks like we've arrived someplace new. Yeah, I got a feeling we've got to get close to those flags now. It's Pancherman Shelmet. We've got to hurry and get that flag. All right, we cleared the dungeon first. Gah! Too bad for you guys. We were number one today. But we're not, because we didn't have Gumi. We failed. You lost Gumi? Yeah. And? Where's Gumi now? Back in the dungeon somewhere, I guess. You're useless! What were you two thinking? I'm gonna look for him right now. Gabriel's team cleared the dungeon first. Well done on that accomplishment. However, I cannot pra praise you for leaving a member of your team behind. Ah. <laughs> Let me tell you what I think about it. The members of a team should look after one another. They work toward their goal together while caring for each other. And that might perhaps be even more important than clearing a dungeon, hmm? <laughs> now that's enough standing around and moping. Gumi may still be lost in there. Why don't you go look for him? Yes, sir. Mr. Farfetch'd, I would like to go search as well. Didn't even wait for an answer. Haha, <laughs> now that was fun to watch. Oi, I'll have no snickering from you. Yes, sir. And are we still not back? Oh, we are back. We didn't even get to go save Gumi. And so the school day ended, and after school... I'm glad we finally found Gumi before anything happened to him. But, boy, am I really, am I really messed things up again. All I could think about was being first to clear the dungeon. Nothing else mattered. Hey, Neon, do you think... Do you ever think I'm irritating? Huh? Pancham and Shelmet are always telling me that I'm annoying or whatever. Today isn't the first time something like this has happened. I feel like I just caused trouble for everyone around me. So, Neon, what do you think? Do you think I'm irritating too? Um, what should I say? Hmm. I think of the way this is worded, the I think you can be would then loop around to... saying something nice, but... Hmm. I don't think you're irritating so much as you just don't think before you act. Which I guess it could be irritating for Gumi, but you've never been irritating to me, so... <laughs> hmm. Let me think. 
Because if I place myself in the shoes of Riolu Mi, and on my first day here, well, I guess not my first day here, but first day in the village, he essentially kidnaps me, jokingly, jokingly, to show me around, and is just like super duper excited, but then is run off by half the town. And I mean, he did, like, say, like, oh, we don't want to actually take your jewels if they're precious to you, which was nice. Hmm. So, like, for me, he isn't irritating. And I think even in a, a way, like, the interactions he's had with others hasn't been irritating so much as just, like, he just doesn't think too much. So, no, I don't think you are. That's not true. I'm just as much to blame for what happened to Gumi. Exactly. If I really wanted Gumi to be safe, I would have run back before. But still, it's true that you drag others into bad situations without thinking. And I guess that might end up with others feeling troubled sometimes. So it might be better to try to keep other people's feelings in mind a bit more. Alright, now I've got to get that idea across to Gabriel somehow. What? Really? I see. Yeah, you're right. I'm always rushing ahead on my own without thinking about other people. Ugh, oh, it looks like I may have made things even worse. I knew it. I just make messes for everyone and ruin everything. Sorry, Neon, for always being such a pain. I'll try to be more careful from now on. Right now, I feel bad. Oh, dear. Didn't think my words would hit Gabriel quite so hard. It's hard to get your feelings across to others sometimes. Empathy is hard. Oh, what? <laughs> Here, too, arise feelings of discontent. The power. I can feel it growing. Overwhelming. Well, that's ominous. What, is there a Pokemon that feeds off of dark feelings gonna rise and destroy things? But we've been going for about three hours and we got to a decent point, so I do think that we will stop there. I'm quite enjoying this. The pacing is quite nice. Like, even though, and <laughs> funnily enough, it does feel like, actually come to think of it, I think the pacing feels a bit nicer compared to GTI. So it almost feels like this is like the gameplay, like the overall like vibes of Gates to Infinity, but maybe giving it just a bit more time to cook, which I am very, very glad about. The music, utterly fantastic. The characters are quite nice so far. Definitely interesting. It'll, we'll have to wait and see when we actually make a guild team or... I guess, Expedition Society team, and see, like, like, because so far, I don't think we've run into any characters that would, like, join our Expedition team just yet. Maybe Deerling and Gumi? I could see Deerling being kind of the stern but fair older sister to the two characters so far. But we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> like, because again, like, it's a bit interesting because we haven't had any, like, because the Expedition Society it is a thing out there. Who knows? Maybe we'll actually go to the Expedition Society instead of mailing it in, like, with Smile. But Nuzleaf is kind of interesting because he seems to care, but, like, doesn't want to get involved. Behim are weird. They didn't say anything. They just attacked us out of nowhere. Deoxys just dropped by and feels like something's wrong with the planet. Rayquaza is running the fuck away from the planet. So, like, it is interesting. And now we have, like, an, the ominous feeling of discontent is arising here. Mwahaha. Like, there's a lot going on, but it does feel like the pacing is nice. So, yeah, I'm really enjoying this so far. Can't wait for more. But, let's see, anything else? I do think it's interesting that they're putting so much focus 
on the ages of the characters. We're like, you're just a kid. And even then, that's kind of vague. So probably somewhere, like, in between, like, either before or, like, uh, like 10 or up or something. Like, it's hard to tell with, like, the other, like, games, the Rescue Team, Explorers, and GTI, the ages of the characters is kind of left in an anomalous young adult area. Where this one is explicitly, you are a younger character, which is kind of interesting. I'm glad you're enjoying this. I personally think this is my favorite game in this series. We'll have to wait and see, because again, for me, like, uh, I, like, it's the story for me. If the story and story vibes can topple GTI, that would be fantastic. But also, I want it to break my heart. I want it to make me feel things. But so far, I do think that the gameplay is much nicer compared to GTI so far. Our, our attacks are leveling up before we join this, uh, a guild. The guild, we jo before we join, we're actually leveling up skills. That's nice. The duh, duh, duh. I also like the pulled out camera. That was like an initial complaint I had with GTI. And uh, apparently other people disliked it too, so they fixed that, which is cool. I wonder why they had the zoomed-in camera in GTI. If it was, like, for processing or something. Who knows? But, yeah, I'm really enjoying this. The music is fantastic. The graphics are quite nice. And I can't wait to see where the story is going. <laughs> There's a lot of, like, ominous foreshadowing to a degree. Deoxys, Rayquaza, the Mwahaha discontent is rising. So I can't wait. I can't wait for us to actually meet more characters. I need to go sell my apples. <laughs> Unless they spoiled because of school. I can't believe school could be getting in the way of my apple empire. But yeah, can't wait to see where the characters will go. What the game will do. It'll be just interesting to see. But I do believe that will be it from me. Thank you very much for joining me tonight, everybody. If you want more from me, I have uh, a link tree, linktr.ee slash neonicewings, that has everything that I do. So if you want edited YouTube content, it's there. If you prefer Twitch or YouTube streaming, the options are there. Oh, yes, and next time we will be streaming on Saturday, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, continuing this here Super Mystery Dungeon and hopefully having another super time because it is very nice. And then, of course, on my streaming YouTube channel, all of these streams are recorded and then uploaded there for posterity and good quality, hopefully. I just need to remember to actually upload them. Hmm. Also in my link tree is links to various social medias where I upload art, similar to my little character in the corner. So if you want more art from me, you can follow me on the various places like Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, Blue Sky. So many different places. I need to draw more, but I also need to write more. And speaking of my writing, there are links to a few sites that I upload some of my stories to. They are very fun. I need to write more. Brain gets in the way sometimes. And finally, I do believe, for the very affluent, well-off people who want to be kind, there is a Patreon linked in there that I treat as a little donation bucket. So if you are feeling extraordinarily kind and are well off enough that you can afford it, it is there. It's not an obligation. I just like, it's an option for people to show support if they so choose. It's just a little thing that I decide to set up because if I just, why not? Me. Yeah. But yes, that should be everything once again. I hope to see you dudes next time where we continue our Super Mystery Dungeon adventures and hopefully experience more fantastic music and great character moments. But yes, remember, be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, stay kind and hydrated. And I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye. Bye.